Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Naruto. I, the number one villain in Konoha Village. Chapter 41. Eat this. Yi Feng threw a pill to Uchiha Shu. Looking at the pills that Yi Feng threw over, Uchiha Shu's eyes flashed with a hint of hesitation, and finally he chose to take them. This pill must be poison, but he must eat it, or he will die now. I don't care what method you use, I will give you three days. If you don't kill Sarutobi Shinosuke within three days, you and your family can go to the Pure Land to reunite together. Yi Feng let Uchiha Shu leave, and he just gave Uchiha Shu poison. As long as he still cares about his own life, he will never dare to run away. Even if he doesn't care about his own life, he should also care about his family's life. Patriarch, you let him kill Sarutobi Shinosuke. If Serutobi Shinosuke dies, third Hokage Serutobi Hiruzen will definitely turn against Uchiha. Uchiha letter had worry on his face. Killing Serutobi Hiruzen's son, can Serutobi Hiruzen not go berserk? The one who killed was Uchiha Shu. What does it have to do with our Uchiha family? Don't you think I really gave the traitor a way to live? Yi Feng glanced at all the Uchiha people in the hall. I will never let go of those who betray, so I hope you don't have the idea of betraying Uchiha, otherwise. Three Tomo Sharingan appeared in Yi Feng's eyes, and then instantly turned into Mangekio Sharingan. Yi Feng's Mangekio Sharingan surprised everyone present, and then his face showed a frenzy. The Patriarch has also opened the Mangekio Sharingan, and their Uchiha family now has two people who have opened the Mangekio Sharingan, and the restoration of the former glory is very close at hand. Since Uchiha Madara left the Uchiha family, the Uchiha family began to decline. After the death of first Hokage, the second Hokage Senju Tobarama suppressed Uchiha very hard. After Senju Tobarama's death, his disciples Serutobi Hiruzen and Shimura Danzo continued to suppress Uchiha. Uchiha, who has been suppressed by the top management of Konoha, is also holding a sigh of relief in his heart. After Uchiha had killed Serutobi Shinosuke, it was announced that Uchiha had betrayed the Uchiha family and had been expelled by Uchiha. Yi Feng wants to make Serutobi Hiruzen suffer a dumb loss. If Serutobi Shinosuke is killed at this time, it is estimated that Serutobi Konohamaru will have no chance to be born in the future. But does Yi Feng care about this? He doesn't even care whether Uchiha Itachi and Uchiha Sasuke, or even Uzumaki Naruto, the absolute protagonist of this world, will be born in the future. Our Uchiha family seems to have a young genius named Uchiha Shisui. Yi Feng asked suddenly. Uchiha Shisui is really good. Uchiha Sasuke's face showed admiration, and he also paid attention to this young genius. It seemed that they were destined to rise in the Uchiha family. With the patriarch and the patriarch's wife who opened the Mangekio Sharingan, and a teenage genius, their Uchiha has a bright future. Many Uchiha people feel that the future Hokage patriarch can compete. If the patriarch becomes the Hokage, the Uchiha clan will be the true number one clan in Konoha village. Sasuke, it's up to you to teach him as his teacher in the future, remember, first teach him to be loyal to Uchiha. Loyalty Uchiha family is loyal Yi Feng. Uchiha Shisui is indeed a genius, Yi Feng wanted to see if Uchiha Shisui would change if he intervened to change it. If Uchiha Shisui's character beliefs change, Yi Feng doesn't mind cultivating him to be his own admiral. If it is still the same as in the original book, Yi Feng will not kill him, but in the future his Mangekio Sharingan Yi Feng will accept it rudely. Lord Patriarch, I will take good care of him. Uchiha Sasuke looked serious. Nodding lightly, the current Uchiha Shisui is not enough to attract Yi Feng's attention, at least after he opens Mangekio Sharingan, Yi Feng will not be able to pay attention to it. But Uchiha Shisui, who is only four years old and has just started to practice chakra, does not know how long it will take to start Mangekio Sharingan. Uchiha letter, Uchiha Kai. Yi Feng looked at the two of them. Although Yi Feng has taken back the Mangekio Sharingan now, even if he does not need Mangekio Sharingan to look at them, Yi Feng brings them a lot of pressure. Yi Feng, who became the patriarch not long ago, has cultivated the power of the superior, and Uchiha Chi and Uchiha Shin subconsciously feared Yi Feng. You too, join the Konoha Guard in the future, do you have any opinions? In the past, neither Uchiha Kai nor Uchiha Shin, nor Uchiha Osamu, the betrayer, joined the Konoha Guard. 
Now Yi Feng is ready to let them join. No comment. Uchiha Kai and Uchiha Shin answered very succinctly, they did not dare to have an opinion. How dare they refuse Yi Feng under the sensitive circumstances of just finding out a traitor. Let's report to the Konoha guard tomorrow. Yi Feng let them go their own way, turned around and went back to his house. The house was kept in good order by Makoto, but it would be a waste of talents to let Makoto be a quasi-cage level strong man and stay at home as a housewife, although Makoto didn't hate this kind of life. What are you thinking about? When Makoto found Yi Feng back, he looked absent-minded. Of course I'm thinking about how to do evil things. Hearing Yi Feng's words, Makoto took it as a joke, but he didn't know that this was Yi Feng's real thoughts. Although the evil value has always been obtained, the evil value has not exceeded 300,000 at the moment, and the acquisition speed is too slow, so Yi Feng wants to make a bigger one. If you destroy Konoha village, how much evil will you get? Yi Feng thought to himself. Such dangerous thoughts rose in his mind, but he quickly shook his head. Even if he really intends to destroy Konoha village, his strength is still too reluctant. After all, he is only a Mangekio Sharingan, and Ryujin Jaka's Shikai cannot last long. Moreover, Yi Feng has no intention of leaving Konoha village for the time being, so he should slowly cut the leaks. If he digs the roots in one breath, although he will gain a lot of benefits in a short time, it is not worth watching for a long time. It's better to start the third ninja war. Another dangerous idea was born in Yi Feng's mind. Anyway, the third ninja war will break out sooner or later. If he provokes an assist, he should also get a lot of evil value. The fuse of the third ninja war was the disappearance of third case cage, the disappearance of third case cage, Sunagakar suspected that the disappearance of third case cage was related to Konoha, attacked the border of the land of fire, and declared war with Konoha village. In fact, Third Case Cage was killed by Sasori without even letting go of the body, and was made into a puppet. In fact, the disappearance of Third Case Cage is just an excuse to start a war. Even without the disappearance of Third Case Cage, the Third Ninja World War will still start. Sunagakar has been eyeing Konoha Village for a long time, and it is not only Sunagakar who is eyeing Konoha Village, who makes the land of fire where Konoha Village is rich in resources. To put it bluntly, the Ninja World War is a battle of interests, and mutual contradictions and hatred are secondary. Sasori of Red Sand, Third Case Cage, I'll cut off my beard. Yi Feng had the idea of killing Third Case Cage, and he wanted to detonate the fuse of the third battle himself. But it's not now, and countries may not fight right now. It's only 40 years since Konoha, and according to the original book, it will take a few years for the Third Ninja World War to break out. But Yi Feng won't wait a few years, no more than a year at most, Yi Feng will let the Third Ninja War break out. After the war broke out, it was only quick to obtain evil points. Although killing one person can only get 100 evil points, what about killing a lot more? Although it is impossible for the Third Ninja War to break out in a short period of time, Yi Feng is also planning to do this. And it doesn't necessarily have to kill Third Case Cage to start the Ninja World War, and other methods are not impossible. For example, if Yi Feng weakens Konoha's strength, will the other shinobi villages get the news and will pounce like the wolves? In order to earn evil value, I am also worried. Yi Feng opened the system mall, took a look, and then closed it. Yi Feng's first target is Eternal Mangekio Sharingan if he is not willing to use the evil value. Before obtaining the Eternal Mangekio Sharingan, Yi Feng will resist no matter how tempting Kamui, Flying Thunder God and Sage Body are to Yi Feng. There are several types of Sage Body in the system. Yi Feng can't afford the perfect Sage Body. For example, the Sage Body of the Senju family and the Sage Body of the Uzumaki family, Yi Feng can still afford it. But this kind of Sage Body, Yi Feng didn't like it. What he needs is the perfect Sage Body of Senju Hashirama. The sage body of Senju Hashirama is not the same level as the sage body of the rest of the Senju clan. The next day, Yi Feng came to the training ground after getting up. Along with Yi Feng was Uchiha Makoto. He didn't plan to keep Makoto at home as a vase, so he brought Makoto out to practice with him. Ninjutsu magic Makoto is best at ninjutsu and illusion. In terms of taijutsu, normal female ninjas rarely have stronger taijutsu. In terms of physical strength, Male ninjas are more dominant. Of course, this is also abnormal, 
such as Sunade Haim, one of the Sanin. Another example is Uzumaki Kashina, Uchiha Makoto's good friend. At the same time as Uzumaki Kashina Grand Master of Seal Art, her physical art is not weak. The two of them are special because they both have sage body. While sage body brings a lot of chakra, its physical strength is also much stronger than ordinary people. Makoto is good at fire style and lightning style ninjutsu, and Yi Feng taught her lightning style chidori ninjutsu without reservation. Facing Yi Feng's unreserved teaching, Makoto was a little moved. You must know that in the ninja world, even father and son may not teach ninjutsu to each other without reservation. Although Yi Feng obtained her body in a disgraceful way, and she hated Yi Feng in her heart, but now Uchiha Yi Feng is really good to herself. Uchiha Makoto is easy to satisfy, of course, which is good for Yi Feng. Yi Feng is developing a new ninjutsu, and it has been developing for more than a day. Yi Feng has been researching lightning style Reikiri since he purchased lightning style Chidori in the system. Today, Yi Feng finally made progress. Lightning style Reikiri. Yi Feng successfully released Reikiri, which directly penetrated the solid pillar made of steel. This power is indeed worthy of S rank ninjutsu. Compared with Chidori, Reikiri is more powerful, but also does not have Chidori's shortcomings. The disadvantage of Chidori is that it needs to sprint, and relies on the speed of running to increase the power of the stab. This ninjutsu is difficult to control without Sharingan. Because the running speed is too fast, it is easy to miss the enemy if you can't see clearly, and even the opponent takes this opportunity to counterattack. Coupled with Sharingan's insight, you can't go wrong. However, it requires sprinting when using it, and the power of the sprinting distance will also decrease, which is also a disadvantage of Chidori. But Reikiri is different. It can be used standing on the spot, and its power is not weak at all, or even stronger. Amazing. Makoto was a little shocked when he saw Reikiri's power with his own eyes. A solid steel pillar can be penetrated directly by almost one person, which is too powerful. Steel can penetrate, and if it is flesh and blood, how can it be blocked? It is estimated that Suzano's defense can be broken. Generally speaking, it shouldn't be as powerful as third Reikage's hell stab. That move is known as the strongest spear, Yi Feng really wanted to see it. Now that third Reikage is not dead, Yi Feng really has a chance to see this trick. After developing Reikiri, Yi Feng did not stop and continued to develop other ninjutsu, such as the integration of Rasengan into nature transformation. The trick of rubbing balls is still very potential, and the protagonist Uzumaki Naruto has been rubbing it until the finale. Fire Style Rasengan The fiery red Uzumaki-shaped sphere was thrown by Yi Feng, and exploded instantly after being thrown more than 10 meters away. Yi Feng used the body flicker technique to leave the place, and the flames that burst out engulfed where he was standing in a blink of an eye. It's still not stable enough. It erupted after throwing it a few meters away. Yi Feng thought that after attacking the enemy, the flames would burst out and engulf the enemy. It's a pity that it has not been fully developed, and it cannot be stabilized for the time being. Yi Feng needs to try slowly. This move is quite powerful, mainly because it affects a large range and has not yet been fully developed. The erupted flame can engulf everything within a radius of tens of meters, and the temperature of the flame is extremely high. If there was the terrifying chakra of the Uzumaki family, it might have been developed long ago. Multiple shadow clone technique is a good helper for developing ninjutsu, but Yi Feng is not so scary chakra. Although Yi Feng also used shadow clone to help develop, but the number of shadow clone is too small. Yi Feng, aren't you going to the Konoha guard today? Uchiha Makoto asked Yi Feng. It was almost noon, and Yi Feng was still practicing on the training ground in the Uchiha tribe. There's no need to go. I believe they will manage it well. If I need to manage everything, wouldn't it be exhausting me? He has already started to be the boss of the hands-off, unless it is something that Sasuke Uchiha and the others can't handle, Yi Feng will not come forward. What do you train your subordinates to do is to help yourself share. Yi Feng is not the kind of person who must master the power in his own hands. He believes in fists, and mastering power means mastering power. Makoto, I want you to help me with the affairs of the Uchiha Patriarch. Me, I can't. Hearing Yi Feng's words, Uchiha Makoto immediately shook his head. Why not? Don't take yourself too seriously, you can. 
Yi Feng wanted to be a hands-off shopkeeper, but the power of the patriarch naturally had to be taught to the person he trusted the most. In the past, the two he trusted most were Uchiha Sasuke and Uchiha Soda, and now Uchiha Makoto is also Yi Feng's most trusted person. Knowing Makoto's character, he knew that he married Uchiha Makoto, and she would never betray him in this life. As the patriarch, there are not too many affairs. Anyway, there are no major events in the clan, and the patriarch will not be disturbed. Yi Feng pushed the matter to Uchiha Makoto forcefully. Makoto couldn't refuse and had to agree. However, when dealing with affairs, Makoto will also ask Yi Feng's opinion. This time, Yi Feng has completely become a hands-off shopkeeper. Of course, he is not idle. The most important thing for Yi Feng is to improve his strength. Nothing is as important as strength. He became the patriarch, the master Uchiha family, for the purpose of making it easier to earn evil points to improve his own strength. Yi Feng's goal has always been clear. In the evening, after Uchiha Sasuke returned from the Konoha guard, he reported the situation to Yi Feng as usual. Today, the Konoha guard has done a lot of other things, finding reasons to seal down the stores opened by several families. In particular, the casino opened by the Shimura family was directly smashed by Uchiha Sasuke for reasons. In fact, Uchiha Sasuke didn't report Yi Feng and Yi Feng knew it, because he gained a lot of evil value. Although the harvest is not much each time, as long as there are more things done, the evil value will naturally increase. Lord Patriarch, there is news that may interest you, about Hitaki Sakumo. After Hitaki Sakumo failed to save his teammates last time, some people started to incite Konoha villagers to gossip. Now even the people who were rescued by Hitaki Sakumo have come forward to accuse Hitaki Sakumo. Now Hitaki Sakumo has been running for several days. Didn't go out. Uchiha Sasuke said with some schadenfreude. Hitaki Sakumo is also a member of Konoha's senior management. He is the minister of Anbu and has a high status. With the relationship between Uchiha and Konoha executives, Hitaki Sakumo was unlucky, of course he was happy. About Hitaki Sakumo, don't report it to me. Yi Feng was not interested, he knew that Hitaki Sakumo would die, he would commit suicide. The death of Hitaki Sakumo is also a good thing for Yi Feng. Yi Feng has the idea of provoking the third ninja war. If Hitaki Sakumo dies, other ninja villages will not be so afraid of Konoha village. Konoha's White Fang has a good reputation in the ninja world, and its deterrent power is also quite large. How is Uchiha repair, is there any action? Yi Feng fed Uchiha Shu with poison, and at the same time sent someone to monitor Uchiha Shu. Not yet. Uchiha Sasuke shook his head. Within three days, if he doesn't take action against Serutobi Shinosuke, I will personally cut off the betrayer's head. Sasuke Uchiha hates those who betrayed him. If Yi Feng hadn't stopped him, he would have killed Uchiha Shu yesterday. If he doesn't do it within three days, you don't need to chop off his head. The poison Yi Feng gave Uchiha Shu could only last for three days, and he would surely die after three days. Of course, even if the mission was completed, Uchiha Shu would definitely die. Yi Feng never thought of letting Uchiha Shu go. Pay more attention to Uchiha Fugaku and his gang. If the people under Uchiha Fugaku leave the village, they will immediately kill them outside the village. Disobedient kinsmen do not need to exist, since they have chosen Uchiha Fugaku, they will have to pay the price. In addition, there is a root organization, give me more monitoring. The root organization Danzo, who had sent someone over before, was mercilessly killed by Yi Feng. Danzo is not such a stable person, so it's right to keep an eye on him. After the instructions were completed, Yi Feng let Uchiha Sasuke leave. Makoto, how about inviting your best friend Uzumaki Kashina over tomorrow? Hearing Yi Feng's words, Makoto, who was holding the refreshment, trembled. She knew very well that Yi Feng had bad intentions against Kashina, so she must be trying to do bad things by inviting Kashina over. Can I say no? Makoto asked Yi Feng softly. Can. I thought Yi Feng would be angry, but Makoto didn't expect Yi Feng to just nod and say yes. Looking at Yi Feng's calm expression, Makoto hesitated. Did she make Yi Feng dissatisfied? Although she didn't want to hurt Kashina, she also didn't want to see Yi Feng dissatisfied with her. 
After struggling for a long time, Makoto sighed and secretly said sorry to Kashina in his heart. Sorry Kashina. I can invite Kashina over as a guest. Uchiha Makoto still made his own choice. Hearing Makoto's words, Yi Feng with an indifferent expression smiled. Between him and Kashina, Makoto still chose him. Makoto invited Uzumaki Kashina, but Uzumaki Kashina didn't come because Jiraiya was going to take her to practice. Originally Uzumaki Kashina wanted to ask for leave, but Jiraiya's attitude was very tough and did not allow Kashina to ask for leave. No way, Kashina can only ask someone to bring a letter to Makoto, she can't go there today, and she will come back to her after the practice is over. Makoto, who got the news, sighed with relief. She chose to stand on Yi Feng's side to help Yi Feng, but the guilt in her heart made her very tormented. Now, Kashina has escaped, at least temporarily. Kashina went to practice with her teacher, Jiraiya, and can't come today. Makoto said to Yi Feng. It's fine if you don't come. Yi Feng was very calm. You're not angry, are you? I really invited Kashina, she agreed yesterday. Makoto told Yi Feng nervously that she was worried that Yi Feng had misunderstood and thought she had not informed Kashina. No, how could I be angry with you, I am very satisfied with your choice. Yi Feng pulled Makoto into his arms and kissed Makoto. In fact, Yi Feng said yesterday that asking Makoto to invite Uzumaki Kashina is not the purpose, the main purpose is to force Makoto to make a choice. Makoto chose to stand on his side, which made Yi Feng very satisfied with her. It seems that Konoha doesn't want Kashina to have any friendship with you. Huh? Why? Makoto asked in confusion. You may not know that Uzumaki Kashina is Nine Tails Jinchuriki. Do you say that the top management of Konoha village is willing to let Uzumaki Kashina and Uchiha contact? The fact that Uzumaki Kashina is Nine Tails Jinchuriki is indeed a secret. There are very few people in Konoha village who know that Uzumaki Kashina is Nine Tails Jinchuriki, at least at this stage. Makoto, Kashina's best friend, doesn't know either. Kashina turned out to be Nine Tails Jinchuriki. After learning the news, Uchiha Makoto was really shocked. She and Kashina had known each other for so many years, but she didn't know the news. It's normal, even if Makoto and Makoto are good friends, Kashina won't tell Makoto, and the top management of Konoha doesn't allow Kashina to reveal it. And Kashina was also afraid. She was afraid that Makoto would treat her like a monster after knowing it. The Sharingan is the nemesis of the tailed beast. There are traitors in the Uchiha clan, and we have already disclosed your opening of the Mangekio Sharingan. Third Hokage knows that you have opened the Mangekio Sharingan. In this case, do you think he would dare to let Kashina have contact with you? Sharingan can directly control the tailed beast. This Uchiha Madara demonstrated it to them. At the beginning, Uchiha Madara controlled nine tails to fight back to Konoha village, but fought a battle with Senju Hashirama. When I didn't know that Uchiha Makoto was the Mangekio Sharingan, I could feel at ease, but now I can't be at ease. Especially before Sarutobi Hirazan and Uchiha Yi Feng were about to tear their skins. Do you want to ask, am I also planning nine tails? Looking into Makoto's eyes, Yi Feng asked. Makoto nodded, she felt that Yi Feng's idea of hitting Kashina was because of nine tails. I'm not purely for nine tails, just nine tails, but it's just a plaything. Yi Feng really doesn't take nine tails to heart. Even though Nine Tails strength is terrifying, it is estimated that the combat power should reach Super Cage level. But it was restrained by Sharingan, and it was fine to stay in Jinchuriki's body. If he dared to come out, Yi Feng's pair of Mangekio Sharingan controlled Nine Tails, although it was a little difficult, but he could definitely control it. If Yi Feng's Sharingan evolves into Eternal Mangekio Sharingan in the future, even if he doesn't use Sharingan to directly control it, he can still use the nine tails cut by Suzano and can't take care of himself. The reason why Yi Feng is eyeing Kashina is mainly because Sao Thief gets a lot of evil value. Yi Feng doesn't understand the reward mechanism of the system, and he doesn't talk about the dog system. Anyway, at present, Sao Thief has definitely obtained the most evil value. Also, Kashina didn't say anything about her appearance, she was no worse than Makoto, how could Yi Feng not be moved? The current Yi Feng is not the one Yishin just wanted to pursue strength before. At that time, Yi Feng's cheat hadn't awakened. He had to become stronger. Let's not talk about the future he learned. 
if he didn't work hard to become stronger, he would have died in the second ninja war. Now that he has the strength at the peak of cage level, Yi Feng can relax. With strength, he can naturally pursue power and beauty. Uchiha has traitors, who are the traitors? Makoto mentioned that Yi Feng said that the Uchiha family had traitors. As for the traitor, Yi Feng didn't tell Makoto, mainly because it was not worth mentioning. The traitor is Uchiha. It turned out to be him. After learning that Uchiha Shu was a traitor, Makoto was also a little surprised. You must know that Uchiha Shu has always been very honest. He didn't expect him to be a traitor. Has the traitor been resolved? Not yet. I asked him to perform a task. Now he should do it. Yi Feng had a sneer on his face, wondering if Sarutobi Hirazan would lose his mind in anger after losing his son. He has been betrayed, will he still carry out orders honestly? Makoto was skeptical. Now his life is in my hands, and his relatives are also in the Uchiha family. Do you think he dares to be dishonest? Makoto didn't ask Yi Feng what task Yi Feng asked him to perform, she wouldn't inquire about this kind of thing. Sarutobi Hirazan, are you afraid that I will attack Ninetales Jinchuriki? I really do. It is absolutely impossible for the person he is eyeing to run away from him. There is no chance this time, and Yi Feng will have more chances in the future. Even now, he hasn't really taken the initiative. If he really took the initiative and used a little tough means, it would not be difficult to deal with Uzumaki Kashina. As for the consequences of attacking Uzumaki Kashina, Yi Feng is not afraid, don't underestimate Yi Feng's courage. He dared to scold Sarutobi Hirazan in front of Sarutobi Hirazan, and there was nothing he dared to do. Sarutobi Shinosuke has finally left the village. In the dark, Uchiha, who was staring at Sarutobi Shinosuke, was excited. Yesterday I stared at Sarutobi Shinosuke for a day, and today I stared at him for most of the day. Sarutobi Shinosuke finally left the village to do a mission. If Sarutobi Shinosuke does not leave the village today, then he can only force his hand in Konoha village. If he kills Sarutobi Shinosuke in Konoha village, he will basically die. Uchiha doesn't want to die, not everyone has the determination not to be afraid of death. He can't solve the poison. As for finding Sarutobi Hirazan to help him solve it, he is not a fool. Sarutobi Hirazan has sold himself once, will he help himself? And Sarutobi Hirazan's betrayal made him hate Sarutobi Hirazan so much that killing his son Sarutobi Shinosuke was considered revenge. Sarutobi Shinosuke and Uchiha Shu left the village one after another, and Uchiha Sasuke, who had been sending people to watch Uchiha Shu, immediately reported to Yi Feng when he got the news. Lord Patriarch, Sarutobi Shinosuke has left Konoha village, and Uchiha has already followed. Do you want me to follow? Do not care. Yi Feng shook his head, leaving Uchiha Sasuke alone. There are not many people who can solve the poison on Uchiha's body. Yi Feng can only think of two people, one is Tsunade and the other is Chiyo's mother-in-law. It is impossible for Tsunade to tie up Uchiha and detoxify it, and it is even more impossible for Chiyo's mother-in-law to detoxify the ninjas in Konoha village as Sunagakar's advisor. He could only come back from the mission and ask Yi Feng for the antidote. If he really kills Sarutobi and comes back, I'll give him a big gift. A cold smile appeared on Yi Feng's face. Yi Feng asked Uchiha Sasuke to do his own thing, Yi Feng thought it should be no problem if Uchiha Shu could kill Sarutobi Shinosuke. Now Sarutobi Shinosuke is no more than Jonin, and Uchiha is an elite Jonin. Don't underestimate the gap between Jonin and elite Jonin, five Jonin teaming up may not be able to beat one elite Jonin. Outside Konoha village, Uchiha Shu, who was following behind Sarutobi Shinosuke, didn't make the first move. Not here, just left Konoha village, not far from Konoha village, if you can't get rid of Sarutobi Shinosuke immediately, you will definitely attract the ninjas of Konoha village. Just leave Konoha village and you're dead. Uchiha stared at Sarutobi Shinosuke with disdain. The strength of his elite Jonin was also obtained through countless fights. Compared with Sarutobi Shinosuke, who became a Jonin smoothly and did not experience too many fights, his combat power was much stronger. Sarutobi Shinosuke is on his way. There are many forests in the land of fire. As a ninja, stepping on the trunk of a tree Sarutobi Shinosuke walks like a fly. Strange, why does it feel like being stared at? 
As a Jonin, his perception is still very keen, especially Uchiha Shu's murderous aura is too strong. This place is still within the Konoha village range. Ninjas from enemy countries will never dare to come here. It should be an illusion. Serutobi Shinosuke shook his head, thinking that it was an illusion, and it was his intentions that became the source of his death. After leaving Konoha village far away, Uchiha Shu finally couldn't hold it in any longer. He sneaked in in the dark and used shuriken techniques. Using a transparent silk thread to hang on the shuriken, control the shuriken and kill Serutobi Shinosuke. When Serutobi Shinosuke felt the danger, it was too late to dodge, his arm was scratched, and a shuriken was stuck in his stomach. Who is it? Serutobi Shinosuke shouted in shock. Unexpectedly, I came out to do the mission this time, and I encountered an attack. Generally, when I do a mission in the country of fire, it is basically smooth sailing. Fire style how long fire technique. A fire dragon attacks Serutobi Shinosuke. Enduring the pain, Serutobi Shinosuke hurriedly sealed the seal and used the body replacement technique, but it was a little slower, and the body was still hit by flames, full of scorch marks. Fortunately, I didn't eat a full dragon fire, and I avoided some at the critical moment, otherwise I would be killed in seconds. People of the Uchiha clan. Through this ninjutsu, Serutobi Shinosuke determined who the enemy who attacked him was. It is definitely the people of the Uchiha family, because the dragon fire technique is basically used by the people of the Uchiha family. From this ninjutsu alone, it can be judged that it is definitely a member of the Uchiha family. Uchiha's eyes were full of cold light, but his killing intent did not restrain at all. Is it Uchiha Yi Feng who asked you to kill me? Serutobi Shinosuke asked in horror. The dead don't need to ask so much. Uchiha moved instantly, rushed up a few moves and sent Serutobi Shinosuke flying out, and the seriously injured Serutobi Shinosuke lay on the ground and vomited blood. Serutobi Shinosuke regretted it, why did he have to come out to do the task, isn't it bad to stay in the village, if someone is gossiping, just go and go, at least the safety is guaranteed in Konoha village. He ran out to perform a mission, not for money, but to prove himself, and many people said behind his back that he had gone through the back door to become Jonin. Serutobi Shinosuke was unconvinced, so he found a simple S-level task, and there is a record of completing the S-level task. Who would dare to say that he was promoted to Jonin by going through the back door? If he knew that he would be attacked if he left Konoha village, he would never come out of Konoha village. Even if he stays in Konoha village and doesn't leave, he will still be attacked, but there is a possibility of surviving in Konoha village Serutobi Shinosuke. Your father dares to betray me, I can't deal with him, but I can still kill his son. Staring at Serutobi Shinosuke indifferently, Uchiha cut down with a knife, and in Serutobi Shinosuke's panic, he cut off Serutobi Shinosuke's head. No one knows how Serutobi Shinosuke died in the original book. Anyway, the current Serutobi Shinosuke was killed by Uchiha. In the future, Serutobi Konohamaru has no chance of being born. How can he be born even if his father is dead? After lifting Serutobi Shinosuke's head and burning his body to ashes with a fire, Uchiha immediately left the place and returned to Konoha village after cleaning up the traces of the battle. Back at Konoha village, Uchiha Shu was a little guilty. If the others in Konoha knew that he had killed Serutobi Shinosuke, he would surely die. The traitor is back. Uchiha Sasuke sneered after hearing the news of Uchiha Shu's return, but he knew that the patriarch never wanted to let this traitor go. This guy came back, indicating that he should have succeeded. Serutobi Shinosuke is a Jonin, and it is difficult to survive in the hands of Uchiha Shu, an elite Jonin. Uchiha Shu covered up, quietly returned to the Uchiha clan, and immediately went to Yi Feng. It's back, it's pretty quick. Yi Feng looked at Uchiha Shu and said plainly. PFF'd. Uchiha Shu knelt down directly in front of Yi Feng. Lord Patriarch, I was wrong before. This is the head of Serutobi Shinosuke. Please forgive me once, for the sake of my mission. Serutobi Shinosuke's head was taken out of the sealed scroll by Uchiha Shu. His eyes widened and he looked dead. Forgive you once. Yi Feng sneered. Do you think that's possible? Go home and have a look, I've prepared a big gift for you. Hearing Yi Feng's words, Uchiha Shu's complexion changed instantly, and he didn't care to ask Yi Feng to spare him, and immediately used the body flicker technique to rush home. 
Returning to his home, smelling the blood and the corpse lying on the ground, Uchiha Shu Putong knelt on the ground. The bodies lying on the ground were all his relatives, and not far away there was a Uchiha ninja sitting on the steps, bloodline dripping from his knife. Uchiha letter, did you move your hand? Looking at the corpse of his loved one, Uchiha repaired with grief and anger, and stared at Uchiha letter with three Tomo Sharingan. Uchiha Shu, the worst thing you have done is to betray the Uchiha family. Uchiha will not allow you as a traitor to live, and your family will pay the price for your mistakes. Uchiha letter's tone was cold. Three Tomo Sharingan stared at Uchiha's letter, and his anger started to explode. Uchiha letter, I want you to die. With a low roar, Uchiha Shu drew his sword and killed Uchiha Shin. It's really useless without Mangekyo Sharingan turned on. Yi Feng stood on the roof, watching indifferently. Seeing the tragic death of his relatives with his own eyes, he did not turn on Mangekyo Sharingan. Yi Feng did not believe that he had no feelings for his relatives, otherwise he would not be so angry. Therefore, Uchiha's eyes did not evolve into Mangekyo Sharingan talent at all. Lightning-style Chidori blade. The piercing thunder light spread out instantly, like an elongated sword piercing Uchiha Shu's body. While piercing through his body, the power of the lightning paralyzed his cells, and Uchiha Shu, who was fighting with Uchiha Shin, fell directly on the ground. Lord Patriarch. Uchiha looked at Yi Feng respectfully, his scalp tingling slightly. The Patriarch is really unfathomable. If it wasn't for the Patriarch's shot, he wouldn't have been able to find it, and if the Patriarch's target was him, I'm afraid he would end up the same as Uchiha Shu. For the Uchiha family, the stronger the Patriarch, the better. You, promised me that you would give me a chance to atone for my sins, why? Uchiha asked Yi Feng in pain. Yi Feng looked down at him mockingly. You also believe my words. From the beginning, I didn't intend to let you, a traitor, live. If I let you go, how can I deter other people with dissent? Take Uchiha and kill the chicken and the monkey, and tell some wicked guys what the betrayal is. The blow just now was not enough to kill you. You still have the last bit of value to use. Yi Feng deliberately didn't aim at Uchiha Shu's vital part, otherwise Uchiha Shu would definitely die. When looking at Uchiha Shu, Yi Feng's eyes had become Mangekyo Sharingan, and Uchiha Shu was instantly controlled by his hypnosis. Send Serutobi Shinosuke's head to Serutobi Hirazan. Yi Feng gave orders to Uchiha Shu. Uchiha Shu, who was controlled by hypnosis, tried his best to get up, briefly dealt with the injury, then took the head that Yi Feng threw to him, and turned to leave the Uchiha family. Lord Patriarch, you are trying to provoke Third Hokage. Uchiha letter shocked Yi Feng's boldness. Yes, I just want to provoke Serutobi Hirazan. Ding, kill the heart, get, evil value plus 30,000. Hearing the sound from the system, Yi Feng raised the corners of his mouth, and he got what he wanted. Asking Uchiha to kill his son, and then send his son's head over, is indeed a murder. Serutobi Hirazan's face is probably worse than eating shit. Remember, we and Serutobi Hirazan will only become enemies in the future. Yi Feng said to the puzzled Uchiha letter. Uchiha did not understand that Yi Feng died in order to offend Serutobi Hirazan, but Yi Feng knew that he and Serutobi Hirazan could only be enemies in the future. Serutobi Hirazan felt that the Uchiha family was a threat. Even if Yi Feng didn't offend him to death, he would still attack the Uchiha family. Come on, accompany me to the Hokage building to see a play. Yi Feng walked towards the Konoha village Hokage building, Uchiha Shin hurriedly followed, he smiled bitterly in his heart, wondering if this time Konoha village and Uchiha would start a war. Lord Patriarch, do you want me to gather all the ninjas of our Uchiha family to go there together? Followed Yi Feng's Uchiha letter and asked. What are they going to do together? You are not worried that Serutobi Hirazan will lose his mind and attack us in anger. Yi Feng asked back. Uchiha letter nodded, he wanted to gather the ninjas of the Uchiha family to go with him, just worried about this. Serutobi Hirazan is not my opponent, and he won't shoot at me for the sake of the overall situation, let alone the one who killed his son is not me, what reason does he have to shoot at me? The murderer is Uchiha Shu, and he has nothing to do with him. He even plans to help Serutobi Hirazan kill the real murderer. Serutobi Hirazan should thank him at that time. In the Hokage building, 
Uchiha broke into the Hokage office, but the Anbu Ninja did not stop him, mainly because the Anbu Ninja did not expect that someone would dare to break into the Hokage office. Protect Lord Hokage. Anbu Ninja surrounded Uchiha. It's you, Uchiha, are you still alive? Seru Tobi Hirazan was surprised when he saw Uchiha Shu, he thought Uchiha Shu was dead, but he didn't expect Uchiha Shu to be alive. Will Uchiha Yi Feng allow the traitor to live? For some reason, he felt a panic in his heart, and his eyelids kept twitching. Since this morning, his eyelids have been twitching, as if predicting that something bad is about to happen to him. You're surprised that I'm still alive Sarutobi Hirazan. A vicious smile appeared on Uchiha's face. How dare you talk to Lord Hokage like this? Anbu's ninjas were angry when they heard Uchiha's unceremonious tone. Anbu was directly under Hokage, and they respected Hokage very much. Disrespect to Lord Hokage like Uchiha is treason. Sarutobi Hirazan, I'll show you something good. From the sealed scroll, take out Sarutobi Shinosuke's head and throw it directly at Sarutobi Hirazan. Lord Hokage be careful. Seeing that Uchiha suddenly threw something over, Anbu's ninja subconsciously shot, and all kinds of kanai and shuriken threw at Uchiha first. Sarutobi Hirazan looked at the Yuangyulongdong thing, his face changed suddenly, and quickly shot to block the kanai and shuriken who shot past, and then caught Yuangyulongdong's head. He saw clearly just now that the face of this human head was that of his son Sarutobi Shinosuke. After catching it, Sarutobi Hirazan looked over, his body was shaking, it was indeed his son Sarutobi Shinosuke. Uchiha Shu, you killed my son. Sarutobi Hirazan looked at Uchiha with murderous intent. In the face of Sarutobi Hirazan who was full of killing intent, Uchiha Shu, who was controlled by Yi Feng Hypnosis, did not say a word, and used the dragon fire technique to make a seal with both hands. Earth style earth flow wall. As a shadow, Sarutobi Hirazan reacted quickly, and immediately used the earth flow wall to block the fire dragon released by Uchiha. This is the Hokage building, the symbol of power in Konoha village. If this place is destroyed, it will be ridiculed by the shadows of other villages. Uchiha repair you. Summoning art ape demon. An old monkey was summoned by Sarutobi Hirazan summoning. This is the summoning beast contracted by Sarutobi's family. The ape king and ape demon, with the indestructible body of King Kong, can transform into King Kong Rui stick. And the ape demon can also use ninjutsu in the seal. Sarutobi, met a powerful enemy. After the ape demon was summoned out, he asked Sarutobi Hirazan. Generally, Sarutobi Hirazan will summon it out to fight together only when encountering a relatively powerful enemy. Transformation into King Kong Rui Stick. Sarutobi Hirazan did not answer the ape demon's words. He came out of summoning ape demon not because of the strength of his opponent, but because of the anger in his heart, which could not be vented. Stretch out, Rui Bang, give me death. The elongated Vajra Rui Rod knocked Uchiha out of the Hokage building, and with one blow, he severely injured Uchiha and beat Uchiha to half to death. In fact, he can instantly kill Uchiha Shu, cage level peak, plus summoning beast, kill an elite Jonin in one move, isn't it easy? However, Sarutobi Hirazan left Uchiha Shu to live for the time being. There is something strange about this matter. Sarutobi Hirazan wanted to get the truth from Uchiha Shu's mouth. Uchiha Shu is a traitor, Uchiha Yi Feng already knew, with Uchiha Shu's strength, how could he survive in the hands of Uchiha Yi Feng? Not only did he survive, but he knew he had betrayed him and killed his son in revenge. Calm down and think about it, it's no wonder that there is no problem. Sarutobi Hirazan, when you bought me to betray the Uchiha family, but now you betray me, even if you die, I want you to pay the price. Uchiha's roar filled with hatred was heard by all the Konoha shinobi who had gathered after hearing the movement. Well you traitor, let you run away before, and now you dare to attack Hokage, the sin is unpardonable. A cold light flashed, Uchiha Shu's head was chopped off, Yi Feng slowly retracted Ryujin Jaka, who was not stained with bloodline. Hokage-sama isn't hurt, right? Yi Feng asked the ugly Sarutobi Hirazan. Uchiha Yi Feng, you have gone too far. Sarutobi Hirazan clenched the Vajra Rui stick and stared at him with terrifying eyes. Lord Hokage, Uchiha has already become a traitor when he attacked you. How could I kill him? I don't think it would be an exaggeration to cut him with a thousand swords. 
Yi Feng said with a smile. Seru Tobi Hirazan had blue veins on his forehead, he said too much, not that Uchiha Yi Feng killed Uchiha Shu, but the death of his son Seru Tobi Shinosuke. Although there is no evidence, Seru Tobi Hirazan's intuition suspects that the death of his son Seru Tobi Shinosuke has something to do with Uchiha Yi Feng. The furious Seru Tobi Hirazan was almost unable to restrain himself from fighting with Uchiha Yi Feng, but seeing Uchiha Yi Feng's fearless appearance, he still held back. He can't just be happy for a while, and he has no evidence to prove that the death of his son Seru Tobi Shinosuke is related to Uchiha Yi Feng. Uchiha Shu has died, and now there is no evidence of death. If you attack Uchiha Yi Feng, Uchiha Yi Feng will fight back. Seru Tobi Hirazan held back the death of his son Seru Tobi Shinosuke. Eight demon, go back. Seru Tobi Hirazan sent the summoning back, and his face was calm. Sure enough, I held it back. As expected of Hokage, I can't stand it. For Seru Tobi Hirazan's forbearance, Yi Feng is ashamed. Anyway, he can't help it. Yi Feng admits that he can't compare to Seru Tobi Hirazan. Uchiha letter, take Uchiha Shu's body back. Yi Feng ordered to Uchiha letter. The other corpses were of little value, but the pair of three Tomo Sharingans were worth a lot, and they could be dug up for Makoto to absorb pupil power. It's all gone. Seru Tobi Hirazan said to the ninjas gathered around. He, the Hokage, spoke, and the ninjas around him naturally left obediently, but Yi Feng did not leave in a hurry. Lord Hokage, I just got the news that Uchiha Shu actually killed Seru Tobi Shinosuke, causing Lord Hokage to lose his beloved son. Yi Feng's words were like rubbing salt on Seru Tobi Hirazan's wounds, and he managed to hold back. Uchiha Yi Feng mentioned the death of his son Seru Tobi Shinosuke again. Uchiha Yi Feng, I want to chat with you alone. There are other ninjas around, Seru Tobi Hirazan doesn't want to attack, he cares more about his image and doesn't want to ruin the image of his hard work. Okay, Lord Hokage wants to talk to me, how can I refuse? Yi Feng did not refuse. Afterwards, Yi Feng and Seru Tobi Hirazan entered the Hokage building, but Anbu Ninja, who was basically staying close to Seru Tobi Hirazan, did not go in with him. Lu Ju, what's going on today? Akamaiki Dingza couldn't help asking. Lord Third Hokage's son Seru Tobi Shinosuke died, as if he was killed by Uchiha Shu, and Uchiha Shu became a traitor to the Uchiha family, or Lord Hokage's person, is this true or false? It's no good knowing so much. There is not much information, and Nara Luju can only rely on guesswork. His smart brain guesses some truth, but he doesn't want to tell his two friends. Sometimes knowing too much is not good, but it may lead to disaster. On the way back, the people from other families were thoughtful, whether Third Hokage could arrange a spy in the Uchiha family, or was it an elite janin, then did their family also have a spy arranged by Third Hokage. As for other civilian ninjas, they didn't think much of it. In the Hokage building, Seru Tobi Hirazan's office, there were many signs of damage in the office at this time, Seru Tobi Hirazan didn't care, he raised his head and stared at Yi Feng. Uchiha Yi Feng, does Shinosuke's death have anything to do with you? Seru Tobi Hirazan had a murderous aura when he asked this. What nonsense are you talking about, Hokage-sama, wasn't your son Seru Tobi Shinosuke killed by Uchiha? Hokage, you won't be confused by anger because of your son's death. How could Yi Feng admit it? If you don't believe me, I can provide you with evidence, and I can definitely help Lord Hokage to prove that Uchiha is the murderer of your son Seru Tobi Shinosuke. Yi Feng can really show evidence, if Seru Tobi Hirazan wants, he can really give him. But even if Yi Feng came up with evidence, it would be disgusting for Seru Tobi Hirazan. He was 100% sure that this matter had nothing to do with Uchiha Yi Feng. Even if you are Hokage, you can't frame me, otherwise I'll sue you for slander. Seru Tobi Hirazan took a deep breath and forcibly suppressed his anger. Uchiha Yi Feng, don't touch my bottom line, don't think I really dare not touch you Uchiha clan, this is my last warning to you. Lord Hokage's warning to me, I take it to heart. By the way, I reminded Lord Hokage that you must protect your youngest son. If something happens to Seru Tobi Asuma again, you're probably going to die. Yi Feng counter-threatening a wave of truth. He dared mainly because he knew what Seru Tobi Hirazan wanted to protect. Perhaps Seru Tobi Hirazan is hypocritical, 
but he does have feelings for Konoha village, even deeper than his own son. Even for Konoha village, he couldn't fight Yi Feng. Unless he can not care about the loss of Konoha village, he does not care that the third ninja war may break out. In fact, if you simply face the Uchiha family, Serutobi Hirazan is not particularly afraid, and he dares to fight with Uchiha. The key point is that Serutobi Hirazan is afraid that other ninja villages will take advantage of the fire when Konoha loses a lot. As for taking the Uchiha clan unharmed, this Serutobi Hirazan didn't even dare to think about it. With Uchiha's current strength and the fact that the ninjas of the Uchiha clan are generally strong, it is impossible for Konoha village to take down the Uchiha clan without injury. Especially knowing that Uchiha Yi Feng has cage level strength, and there is also a Uchiha Makoto who has opened the Mangekyo Sharingan, Serutobi Hirazan dare not fight with the Uchiha clan. Catch Serutobi Hirazan's psychology, that's why Yi Feng is so unscrupulous. If Lord Hokage has nothing to tell me, then I'll leave. Yi Feng turned around and was about to leave. Uchiha Yi Feng, if you dare to do anything to Asuma, even if I try to destroy Konoha village, I will make you Uchiha clan pay the price. Do you know? Yi Feng turned his head and asked Serutobi Hirazan. You're old, and you don't have that courage at all. If it was Serutobi Hirazan during the Second Ninja World War, maybe he really had this spirit. At the beginning, he really deserved the title of Shinobi Hero. As for now, Yi Feng can only laugh at it. Even if Konoha really wants to fight Uchiha, do you think Uchiha will be afraid? The terrifying chakra erupted, and the office seemed to have experienced a storm, and Serutobi Hirazan's body took two steps back. When Serutobi Hirazan came back to his senses, Yi Feng had already left. Uchiha Yi Feng Serutobi Hirazan was incompetent and furious, he found himself in this dignified Konoha village Hokage, and he had no way to take Uchiha Yi Feng. Uchiha is the cancer of Konoha village. If Yi Feng heard this, I wonder if he would laugh. If it is a tumor, the real tumor of Konoha village should be his old comrade Shimura Danzo, and the third Hokage Serutobi Hirazan is also half. Yi Feng returned to the Uchiha family, and Uchiha Shin gave Uchiha Shu's three Tomo Sharingan to Yi Feng. Yi Feng had instructed Uchiha Shin to dig out Uchiha Shu's three Tomo Sharingan before. Three Tomo Sharingan can't be wasted. After all, Makoto's Mangekyo Sharingan pupil technique can absorb pupil power. Yi Feng also hopes that Makoto's Sharingan can evolve into eternal Mangekyo Sharingan in the future. Back home, Yi Feng gave the pair of three Tomo Sharingan to Makoto. Is this the Sharingan from Uchiha? Makoto didn't refuse, and took over to absorb the pupil power of the pair of three Tomo Sharingan. As for the origin of this pair of three Tomo Sharingan, Makoto can only guess, it can only be repaired by Uchiha. Because Yi Feng is not a good person, but he will never dig the eyes of the people who are loyal to him, it can only be the traitor Uchiha Shu. That's right. That guy is dead, his Sharingan can't be wasted. Since he's a traitor, Uchiha has the right to take back his Sharingan. How? Yi Feng asked Makoto a question. I feel that the pupil strength has increased a little, but the increase is limited. Makoto has absorbed three pairs of three Tomo Sharingan, but the increased pupil power is not as much as expected, and the increased pupil power is less than one-tenth. Quantitative changes will lead to qualitative changes. Accumulate slowly. I will get you a pair of Mangekyo Sharingan when I have a chance to absorb the pupil power. Mangekyo Sharingan is rare, but still available. For example, the dead Uchiha Kagami, a Uchiha clan who was recognized and accepted as a disciple by Senju Tobarama, has a high possibility of opening the Mangekyo Sharingan. Of course, Yi Feng can't be sure. After all, Yi Feng and Uchiha Kagami really haven't had much contact with each other. Although he is from the Uchiha clan, he doesn't communicate very closely with the clan. But Yi Feng didn't count on him. He had been dead for so many years. Even if Mangekyo Sharingan was turned on, he might not keep it now. If it's still there, it's probably a third Hokage Serutobi Hirazan. It is the eyes of Uchiha Kagami's descendant, Uchiha Shisui, that Yi Feng can make up his mind. Whether you want to gouge your eyes in the future depends on your choice. If Uchiha Shisui's performance satisfied Yi Feng, Yi Feng would not attack Uchiha Shisui. However, Yi Feng said that he is not optimistic about whether Uchiha Shisui will change in the future. 
Dogs can't change and eat shit, not to mention that people have inheritance. If it really can't be changed, the contribution he can make to Uchiha is to contribute a pair of Mangekyo Sharingan. In addition to Uchiha Shisui, there is also Uchiha Fugaku. The reason why Uchiha Fugaku was not killed was actually because he expected Uchiha Fugaku to open Mangekyo Sharingan, and then he took action to dig it out. As for whether Uchiha Fugaku, who opened Mangekyo Sharingan, could threaten him, Yi Feng never worried about this issue at all. If even the mere Uchiha Fugaku is afraid, the future Six Paths Madara and Otsutsuki Kegaya will not have to face it. In the blink of an eye, half a month has passed since Serutobi Shinosuke's death, and Serutobi Hiruzen did not take any action during this period. This disappointed some families in Konoha village who wanted to see the fun. In their opinion, even if Uchiha Shu was a traitor to Uchiha's family and he killed Third Hokage's son, Third Hokage should not give up on Uchiha. It is very likely that he will find an excuse to suppress Uchiha, but who would have thought that Third Hokage would not move at all, which makes some people feel that Hokage is a little too bullying. But today, a big thing happened, Konoha's white fangya Hitaki Sakumo committed suicide at home. Sure enough, I still committed suicide. The butterfly effect I brought didn't save you. After Yi Feng got the news, his reaction was very normal. Master Patriarch, Hitaki Sakumo committed suicide, do you want to compete for Minister Anbu? Uchiha Soda asked Yi Feng. Although the Konoha Guard is quite powerful now, in terms of power, Minister Anbu has the highest power, and the power in Konoha village definitely belongs to the top. Hearing Uchiha Kengtai's words, Yi Feng frowned. Be careful when you talk next time. Ah, is there anything wrong with what I said, Lord Patriarch? Could it be that Lord Yi Feng doesn't want to compete for the position of Minister Anbu? Uchiha Soda still doesn't know where she went wrong. Not only Uchiha Kanta, but also Uchiha Sasuke, Uchiha Shin, and Uchiha Kai looked blank, which made Yi Feng feel tired. He admitted that these people have good strength and are definitely the best among elite Jonin but their brains don't seem to be very good, or their political sense is not good. Do you think you are strong enough to be able to compete for Anbu's minister? Yi Feng looked at them disappointedly. Will Sarutobi Hiruzen allow me to be minister Anbu? Will such an important power be given to us Uchiha? Do you think he will be at ease? Yi Feng asked several questions in a row, which made them understand. Just thinking about fighting for power, they didn't think about it at all. Third Hokage, has been targeting our Uchiha family, I almost thought we killed his father. Uchiha Sasuke couldn't help cursing. You have to learn to use your brain in the future, you know. Yes, the patriarch. They looked ashamed. It's stupid that a dignified cage-level powerhouse committed suicide. Thinking of Hitaki Sakumo's suicide, Yi Feng couldn't help but sneer. It's really stupid. It can't even solve some rumors. Uchiha Sasuke and the others laughed at Hitaki Sakumo, thinking that Hitaki Sakumo was really stupid. If it is their words, whoever dares to spread rumors and gossip will be arrested directly. Renshin is bullied by others, and Mishan is ridden by others. If Hitaki Sakumo had been tougher, he wouldn't have ended up like this. Yi Feng wouldn't feel pity for Hitaki Sakumo either, even if Hitaki Sakumo died, Yi Feng had the idea to provoke a ninja war in advance. So even if Hitaki Sakumo did not commit suicide, Yi Feng would give him a ride by himself. Now that Hitaki Sakumo committed suicide, Yi Feng would not do it. Hitaki Sakumo died, Konoha village lost a cage level combat power, and other villages should be ready to move. Maybe a ninja village dare not fight the idea of Konoha village, but if several ninja villages join forces, they will definitely have the courage to attack Konoha village. Of course, a Hitaki Sakumo will not cause a war in the ninja world, it can only be said that it will make many ambitious people come up with this idea. Hitaki Sakumo committed suicide. Serutobi Hiruzen's face was ashen, he didn't expect Hitaki Sakumo to commit suicide in the end. He just wanted to suppress Hitaki Sakumo, he didn't want to let Hitaki Sakumo die, what good would Hitaki Sakumo die for him? The reason why Serutobi Hiruzen ignored Hitaki Sakumo's affairs and suspended his post, under the pretense of giving him a break, the main purpose was to suppress Hitaki Sakumo's prestige. Hitaki Sakumo's suicide was a loss for Serutobi Hiruzen. Shimura Danzo. 
This incident is the ghost of Shimura Danzo, everything is Shimura Danzo's conspiracy. Facing Uchiha Yi Feng in the future, I will have no confidence. Hitaki Sakuma was also Sarutobi Hiruzen's card against Uchiha Yi Feng, but this card was not used, and he was scrapped. At Hitaki Sakumo's funeral, not many people attended. The storm of scolding Hitaki Sakumo before has not passed. No one feels guilty when Hitaki Sakumo died, and even called Hitaki Sakumo a coward. Tisk tisk, Kona has white fang, that's what happened. Yi Feng shook his head, wondering if Hitaki Sakumo Izumi knew, would he be angry and come alive and cut down all those people. But even if Hitaki Sakumo really came back to life, he certainly wouldn't do it, after all, Hitaki Sakumo wasn't him. The end of Konoha's White Fang is of course a bad thing for Konoha village, but it is a good thing for the other four big ninja villages in the ninja world. Especially Chio of Sunagakar, after getting the news, he immediately set off a few firecrackers with excitement. Chio's son and daughter-in-law, the parents of Sasori of Akisha, both died at the hands of Konoha's White Fang Hitaki Sakumo. If it wasn't for his incapacity, Chio would have come to kill White Fang long ago. Two days after Hitaki Sakumo's death, Serutobi Hiruzen held a meeting in the Hokage building. This sudden meeting was to discuss Minister Anbu's affairs. The person who served as Minister of Anbu before was Hitaki Sakumo, and now that Hitaki Sakumo is dead, it is natural to elect a new Minister of Anbu. The current Deputy Minister of Anbu has insufficient strength and prestige, so the major families have ideas about the position of this Minister of Anbu. Yi Feng only wanted to say two words, naive, they also wanted to compete for the position of Minister of Anbu, don't they understand that Serutobi Hiruzen will only hold this power in his own hands. The former minister Hitaki Sakuma was able to be stable mainly because he obeyed Serutobi Hiruzen's words. Even so, Hitaki Sakuma's excellent performance still caused Serutobi Hiruzen's fear. This is the end of the obedient people, not to mention those who are not so obedient, Serutobi Hiruzen absolutely cannot make them Minister Anbu. Yi Feng also came to participate in this meeting, and he is also qualified to participate. The captain of the Konoha Guard might not say it well, but in fact, the Konoha Guard is also called the Konoha Guard Department, and Yi Feng can also be called the minister. Even without the identity of the captain, he can participate in this meeting just because he is the patriarch of the Uchiha family. The old guy Shimura Danzo didn't even show up. Yi Feng was a little surprised that he didn't see Shimura Danzo, but two advisors, Mitokato Homura and Yudetane Kaharu, came. Why do you all look at me so unfriendly, is it because you look at me young, so you deliberately target me? Feeling the hostile gazes, Yi Feng slowly stood up and looked down at everyone. I have a relatively straight personality. If you have any dissatisfaction with me, you can say whatever. Uchiha Yi Feng, when will your Uchiha guards release my Hyuga clan? Hyuga Hiyashi took the lead to stand up and attack Yi Feng. And our Abarame clan. My people from the Inazuka clan were also caught by the people of Uchiha. The crowd stared at Yi Feng angrily, and it was not without reason that their eyes were full of hostility when they looked at Yi Feng. Recently, Yi Feng's guards have found a reason to arrest many of their clansmen, and they have reached the limit of their patience. To hold this meeting today, in addition to competing for the ministerial position of Anbu, there is also a challenge to Yi Feng. When they attacked together, they did not believe that Uchiha Yi Feng refused to accept softness. Uchiha Yi Feng, your Uchiha family is so sinful. The two advisors of Konoha village also spoke up. The two old guys stared at Yi Feng badly, as if Yi Feng had killed their father. Both Mitokato Homura and Yudetane Kaharu were disciples of Senju Tobarama, so they naturally didn't like Uchiha. In the face of the collective attack, Yi Feng was very calm. We are doing things according to the rules. If your clansmen were arrested, it must be that your clansmen violated the public security regulations of Konoha village. Could it be that just because you are a big clan, I will open up to you? Yi Feng's words caused the expression of the civilian ninjas present to fluctuate. Not only the patriarchs of the major families, but also the civilian ninjas of Konoha came to this meeting. After all, the number of civilian ninjas still accounts for the majority. Does he have the confidence to offend so many families, or is he stupid? Orochimaru stared at Yi Feng. 
Aware of Orochimaru's gaze, Yi Feng looked over, looked at Orochimaru, and smiled. Orochimaru was startled, and the look at him just now gave him a sense of danger. Interesting. Orochimaru didn't look away, but continued to stare at Uchiha Yi Feng to see how he handled the current situation. Almost all the families in Konoha village are attacking Yi Feng, even his teacher Sarutobi Hirazan will feel a headache, how will he solve it? Similar to Orochimaru, Jiraiya also looked like watching a play, but Jiraiya looked at Yi Feng with vigilance. Knowing what Yi Feng did, he didn't think Uchiha Yi Feng was a good thing. Third Hokage Sarutobi Hirazan, the old god above, did not stop the scene in front of him, he was eager to see such a scene, how could he stop it? Uchiha Yi Feng, it's better to let the captured clan of our Hyuga clan go, and cancel the security management fee, otherwise my Hyuga clan will never stop with you. Hyuga Hiyashi was the one who charged forward. He was the first to attack Yi Feng. At this time, he also seemed to be the representative. Never stop with me. Hyuga Hiyashi, did I give you a face? Yi Feng looked at Hyuga Hiyashi with dangerous eyes, then the figure disappeared instantly, put his hand on Hyuga Hiyashi's head, and directly pressed Hyuga Hiyashi's head on the table with one hand. You still threaten me with this little strength. What kind of cookie are you? Uchiha Yi Feng, you are arrogant and dare to do something in the conference room, you are simply lawless. Mitokato Homura stood up and scolded Yi Feng angrily. Yi Feng glanced at Mitokato Homura with a half smile but not a smile. He had the courage to stand up and offend him. Okay, after the meeting, Yi Feng will make arrangements for Mitokato Homura. You must know that Yi Feng's heart is not big, and he will never take revenge overnight. Hayuga Hiyashi, you piece of shit, may as well tell you that I'm on the hook with your Hayuga clan. Yi Feng raised his hand and let go of Hayuga Hiyashi, but when he let go of Hayuga Hiyashi, Yi Feng threatened Hayuga Hiyashi. He is not as simple as a simple threat. Since Hayuga Hiyashi dares to take the lead in attacking him, he can only kill chickens and monkeys. Hayuga Hiyashi looked at Uchiha Yi Feng humiliatingly, being pressed on the table in front of so many people, his face was completely lost. This guy is too reckless. Jiraiya gave Yi Feng a dissatisfied look. In a situation like this, he said he would do it, but he hit his teacher third Hokage in the face. Although Jiraiya doesn't show much respect to Sarutobi Hirazan in his daily speech, but when it comes to affection, among Sanin, Jiraiya and Sarutobi Hirazan have the deepest affection. Although he couldn't stand Yi Feng's arrogance, his teacher Sarutobi Hirazan didn't say a word, and Jiraiya didn't bother to stand up and be troublesome. Although force is not the best way to solve the problem, it is definitely the fastest way. Yi Feng pressed Hayuga Hiyashi on the table with one hand, making him unable to resist, and the others who were going to attack Yi Feng directly shut up. This made Yi Feng a little disappointed, you only have this fighting power. I thought you were going to fight with me to the end, is this a coward? However, Yi Feng has already recorded all of them in the small notebook, and he will definitely pay back to them in the future. Sarutobi Hirazan was a little disappointed to see that the crowd did not continue to attack Yi Feng. He thought highly of these people. He thought they would cause some trouble for Uchiha Yi Feng, but Yi Feng just started to embarrass Hayuga Hiyashi, and they were cowardly. The reason why they were cowardly was not simply because Yi Feng dared to act, but mainly because of Yi Feng's threat to Hayuga Hiyashi. If they were stared at by Uchiha Yi Feng and stared directly at their family, they couldn't bear it. In addition, Third Hokage's attitude is a little subtle, Uchiha Yi Feng is so arrogant, Third Hokage doesn't even reprimand. This is also one of the reasons why they admit to cowardly. To put it bluntly, they still dare not offend the Uchiha family. There was a silence in the conference room, which was finally broken by Third Hokage Sarutobi Hirazan. Today's meeting is to discuss the appointment of Minister Anbu. Do you have any suggestions? The main purpose of this meeting was not to attack Uchiha Yi Feng, but the position of Minister Anbu. Before Hitaki Sakumo was suspended, this position is still reserved for Hitaki Sakumo, but now that Hitaki Sakumo is dead, he can only choose a new Minister Anbu. Konoha Village Hokage has the most power, but it is not the same as Sarutobi Hirazan. Of course, Sarutobi Hirazan has the final say on who will serve as Minister Anbu. This meeting is actually a face project. I recommend Orochimaru-sama as Minister of Anbu. 
I think Jiraiya-sama is more suitable. Ninjas spoke one by one, and many of them supported Orochimaru and Jiraiya. They were strong enough, and they were also disciples of Lord Hokage. Many people think that the two of them should be able to serve, so supporting them at this time can be considered a good sale to these two. Old man, I have no idea of being Minister Anbu. Jiraiya doesn't want to be Anbu's minister because she's used to being at ease on weekdays. Teacher Sarutobi, I have no idea of being an Anbu minister either. Jiraiya refused, and Orochimaru also refused. He is not interested in the position of Minister Anbu. His status in Konoha village is not low, and he does not need to be Minister Anbu to increase his status. In addition, Orochimaru felt that Mr. Serutobi would not necessarily give him the position. Indeed, Orochimaru used to be Serutobi Hiruzen's most favored disciple, but now, the relationship between the two of them is somewhat delicate. Lord Hokage, our Hyuga family is capable of this position. Hyuga Hiyashi, who had lost face earlier, stood up. When someone recommended Jiraiya and Orochimaru, Hayuga Hiyashi was still nervous. If he competed with these two, he would have no advantage in terms of prestige or strength. Fortunately, both of them refused, and he could take advantage of the situation to stand up and recommend. If they become Anbu's ministers, their Hayuga family's status in Konoha village will definitely be greatly improved, and even surpass Uchiha in the end. Lord Hokage, our Shimura family also wishes to contribute to Konoha. Although Danzo didn't come, there were other people from the Shimura family who came, and Danzo also wanted to take the position of Minister Anbu. Of course, Danzo didn't have high hopes either. Serutobi Hiruzen will never let his master have such great power. He already has a rooted organization and wants to control Anbu. Will Serutobi Hiruzen feel at ease? I didn't expect much, but I didn't give up the idea of competing, in case it was successful. After the representatives of the two families spoke, several other families stood up one after another, and they also wanted to take the position of Minister Anbu. You must know that Minister Anbu's status is basically second only to Hokage in Konoha village. Apart from the need to obey Hokage, no one else needs to give face. And after becoming the Minister of Anbu, there is still a chance to go further in the future, maybe become the fourth Hokage of Konoha village in the future. Serutobi Hiruzen glanced over and stopped on Uchiha Yifeng's body. The patriarchs of other families are all vying for the position of Minister Anbu, only Uchiha Yifeng did nothing, as if he had no idea about the position of Minister Anbu. But Serutobi Hiruzen can't believe Uchiha Yifeng has no idea about this position. Uchiha wanted to join Anbu long ago, when the former chief was still alive, but Serutobi Hiruzen refused. I just don't believe Uchiha, worried that Uchiha's joining Anbu will cause trouble. Even if he wants to fight, I won't let him be Minister Anbu. Now I am very jealous of Yi Feng. If Uchiha Yi Feng becomes Anbu's minister again, it will really not be able to hold him down. With the unscrupulousness of the Uchiha family, he may dare to conceive the idea of replacing him as the Hokage. As for the patriarchs of other families, Serutobi Hiruzen didn't even think about it. He didn't want Konoha village to have a strong family. Even if there was a strong family, it would have to be their Serutobi family. One Uchiha was enough to give him a headache, and he didn't want another family like Uchiha to appear. Actually, I already have the candidate for Minister Anbu in my mind. As soon as Serutobi Hiruzen's words came out, the chiefs of the major families who were vying for the position of Minister Anbu all stopped and looked at Serutobi Hiruzen, his face was not very good. Someone has already chosen, and they are called to come to a meeting to discuss something. I don't know who is Hokage-sama's candidate. Hayuga Hiyashi asked. Now Hayuga Hiyashi is still a little fanciful in his heart, hoping that the candidate for third Hokage is him. Come in, Fugaku. Serutobi Hiruzen spoke suddenly. Immediately afterwards, the door of the conference room was pushed open, and then Uchiha Fugaku walked in. His face was cold, and he gave Yi Feng a cold look at first. I recommend Uchiha Fugaku as Minister of Anbu. After Serutobi Hiruzen said this, the two advisors sitting next to Serutobi Hiruzen did not object. Obviously, Serutobi Hiruzen had spoken to Mitokato Homura and Yudetane Kaharu before. It is not known how Serutobi Hiruzen persuaded these two. 
The ninjas present looked at Uchiha Yi Feng with strange eyes. Yi Feng was really surprised, and then he figured out that Sarutobi Hirazan was trying to disgust him, and by the way, he used it as a waste and let Uchiha Fugaku deal with him. But Yi Feng didn't care, a bereaved dog who was kicked out of the family by him was nothing in front of him. If it wasn't for the Mangekyo Sharingan that Uchiha Fugaku opened in the future, he Uchiha Fugaku would have been killed by Yi Feng long ago. Fugaku, long time no see, you're doing well recently. Yi Feng greeted Uchiha Fugaku naturally. Humph. Uchiha Fugaku snorted coldly, his fists clenched and his veins burst. Is that how you greeted the patriarch? Oh no, I remembered, you have been expelled from the family. Yi Feng provoked Uchiha Fugaku playfully. If Uchiha Fugaku is really in a hurry, Yi Feng doesn't mind hammering him half to death if he starts with Yi Feng here. Uchiha Fugaku held back his anger and ignored Yi Feng. Obviously, his personality has changed and he has become more stable. Fugaku will be Anbu's minister in the future, so you should have no opinion. Sarutobi Hirazan looked at all the ninjas present. I have an opinion. Before anyone could speak, Yi Feng suddenly slapped the table. Sure enough, do you want to be Anbu's minister too? A gleam of light flashed in Sarutobi Hirazan's eyes. There was no competition just now, but now he can't help it. Patriarch Uchiha has any opinions. Sarutobi Hirazan has already figured out how to deal with Uchiha Yi Feng. As Anbu's minister, his strength can't be too weak. I have an opinion on Uchiha Fugaku's strength. He is too weak. Yi Feng's words made Uchiha Fugaku's rage value increase again. Thinking of Sarutobi Hirazan telling him that Uchiha Yi Feng's strength may have reached cage level, Uchiha Fugaku held back his anger. After recovering from the injury, his strength has improved and finally reached the quasi cage level, but the gap between the quasi shadow and the cage level is too large. He is not yet Uchiha Yi Feng's opponent, so he will hold back for now and wait until he becomes Anbu's minister. Fugaku's strength has been recognized by me, and he has no problem becoming Anbu's new minister. Sarutobi Hirazan narrowed his eyes. Your approval. Although you are Hokage, you also have dark eyes. Yi Feng's words shocked the rest of the audience. They were too brave. They dared not do anything about third Hokage in public. Uchiha Yi Feng, be polite. Jiraiya frowned. Glancing at Jiraiya, Yi Feng ignored him, but he took note. The Hyuga family has also contributed a lot to the village, and they have also worked hard for Konoha village. I think Hyuga Hiyashi should be given a chance. I propose a duel between Hyuga Hiyashi and Uchiha Fugaku. How about the one who wins as Anbu's minister? Yi Feng suddenly spoke to the Hyuga family, which caught everyone present by surprise. Just now you made a move with Hyuga Hiyashi and threatened the Hyuga clan, and in the blink of an eye, you were helping the Hyuga clan to speak. This is a bit wrong, isn't it? I agree. Hyuga Hiyashi was the first to agree. Even if he had an unpleasant relationship with Yi Feng before, Hyuga Hiyashi still chose the benefit in front of the benefit. The benefits to the Hyuga family are too great to become Minister Anbu, and Hyuga Hiyashi couldn't help the temptation. Okay, then let Fugaku and Hiyashi fight to decide. Sarutobi Hirazan agreed, and he couldn't help but agree. If he doesn't agree and insists on making Uchiha Fugaku the Minister of Anbu, it will definitely arouse the dissatisfaction of the Hyuga clan in the end. It's okay to say yes, Sarutobi Hirazan believes that Uchiha Fugaku can beat Hyuga Hiyashi. If even Hyuga Hiyashi can't win, then let alone revenge, even Hyuga Hiyashi can't win, how can he fight Uchiha Yi Feng? Fugaku, are you okay? Sarutobi Hirazan asked Uchiha Fugaku. No. It's useless even if he has an opinion, Sarutobi Hirazan supports him as Minister of Anbu, in exchange he has to obey Sarutobi Hirazan's orders. Konoha Village No. 1 Training Ground, a group of people who were in the conference room before, all moved here. In the training ground, Uchiha Fugaku and Hayuga Hiyashi stood on both sides, looked at each other sharply, and then shot at the same time. Blind eyes, open. Opening the white eyes, the blue veins at the position of the eyes burst out, looking a bit hideous. Fire style how long fire technique. Turn on Uchiha Fugaku of three Tomo Sharingan, quickly seal with both hands, and the fire dragon attacks Hayuga Hiyashi. 
Hayuga Hiyashi's gentle fist The whole ninja world knows that Uchiha Fugaku won't fight Hayuga Hiyashi in close quarters as long as he's not stupid. Gentle fist law 8 trigrams air palm. The vacuum shock wave shot from the air broke the fire dragon that attacked Hayuga Hiyashi. 8 trigrams air palm is the long-range attack method of the gentle fist method. Although the gentle fist method is a physical technique, it does not mean that it cannot be attacked from a distance. It's like opening the seventh gate of eight inner gates and releasing the day tiger. When Kanai and Shuriken attacked, Hayuga Hiyashi dodged quickly, with a 360 degree line of sight without blind spots, and successfully opened all Kanai and Shuriken. Okay, good play, Hayuga Hiyashi tries to cut him in the middle. Yi Feng had a lively expression on his face. Uchiha Fugaku, don't just throw the shuriken, use fire style to burn him to death. The people around are speechless, who exactly does Uchiha Yi Feng support? Who do you support? Yi Feng doesn't support anyone. Does it matter who wins? Do you really think his proposal is to prevent Uchiha Fugaku from being Anbu's minister? No, Yi Feng just wanted to watch the fun. It doesn't matter who wins or loses, Yi Feng just wants to see them fight. The gentle fist method is too strong for melee combat, and the white eye can see through the human meridians. There are a total of 361 acupoints in the chakra meridian system of the human body. Using the gentle fist method to hit these acupoints can block the flow of the opponent's chakra. A ninja does not have chakra, unless you are a master of taijutsu, otherwise it will be abolished. Whether performing illusion or ninjutsu, Chakra needs to be consumed, and some physical skills also require chakra to cooperate, such as some gentle fist methods of the Hayuga family. It's a shame to be chased and beaten. Yi Feng saw that Uchiha Fugaku was being chased and beaten by Hayuga Hiyashi, and couldn't help but contempt. Of course, Yi Feng also knew that Uchiha Fugaku, who seemed to be chased and beaten on the surface, was not actually injured, but Hayuga Hiyashi was very exhausted. The ninjutsu attacks that Uchiha Fugaku countered from time to time, Hayuga Hiyashi either broke with 8 trigrams air palm or blocked with 8 trigrams palms revolving heaven. Both of these moves are very chakra consuming. It was fire style again that attacked Hayuga Hiyashi. Hayuga Hiyashi, who wanted to pursue Uchiha Fugaku, had to stop and use 8 trigrams palms revolving heaven to block the attack again. After the flames slowly dissipated, Uchiha Fugaku appeared in front of Hayuga Hiyashi. Gentle Fist Law 8 Trigrams 64 Palms. The merciless palm of the Inca Fist attacked Uchiha Fugaku. Bang! Uchiha Fugaku, who was attacked continuously, turned into smoke and disappeared on the spot, and it was obvious that it was only Shadow Clone who was hit. Not good. Feeling the scorching temperature behind him, Hayuga Hiyashi clearly felt the danger, but it was too late to avoid it at this time. Boom. A huge fireball exploded, and Hayuga Hiyashi was completely enveloped in it. The flames dissipated, revealing the embarrassed Hayuga Hiyashi, who had a lot of burn marks on his body. If he hadn't subconsciously released chakra to resist, and the Hayuga clan's physique was strong, Hayuga Hiyashi would definitely be seriously injured. It's a waste, you were fooled by Shadow Clone even if you had a blind eye. Yi Feng scolded sarcastically. Boom. Hayuga Hiyashi was kicked away, and then Kanai was put on his neck. You lost, Hayuga Hiyashi. Uchiha Fugaku looked at Hayuga Hiyashi indifferently. The defeated Hayuga Hiyashi was a little unwilling. The battle didn't take long, and he didn't hurt Uchiha Fugaku the whole way. It was only when Uchiha Fugaku was evading Hayuga Hiyashi from close range that he had a little highlight moment, but the duration was too short. That should be fine, right? Serutobi Hirazan looked at Yi Feng. Yi Feng walked towards the training ground and saw Yi Feng walking over, Serutobi Hirazan frowned. What is this guy trying to do? Jiraiya couldn't help but ask. If he attacks Uchiha Fugaku, you immediately stop him. Serutobi Hirazan didn't know what Uchiha Yi Feng wanted to do, and whispered to Jiraiya. Yi Feng did not attack Uchiha Fugaku, but looked down at Hayuga Hiyashi. You're useless for giving you a chance, Hayuga Hiyashi, you're such a piece of shit. Uchiha Yi Feng, you are enough. He didn't expect that Uchiha Yi Feng would come over to mock him on purpose. Why, don't you allow others to say your own waste? He raised his foot and kicked Hayuga Hiyashi out with one kick. Hayuga Hiyashi, 
who was kicked out more than 10 meters away, fainted on the spot. This step down, successfully obtained 2,000 evil value. Looking at Uchiha Yi Feng who is like a bully, Sarutobi Hirazan and the others can't understand a little, they really can't understand Uchiha Yi Feng's brain circuit. They thought Uchiha Yi Feng was trying to attack Uchiha Fugaku, but he kicked Hayuga Hiyashi away. Hayuga Hiyashi is too miserable today. That's right, the strength is good. Yi Feng turned to look at Uchiha Fugaku. Although Hayuga Hiyashi is said to be a waste, Hayuga Hiyashi also has the strength of elite Jonin. Uchiha Fugaku can defeat Hayuga Hiyashi without injury. His strength is not what it used to be. It's all thanks to you. Uchiha Fugaku looked at Yi Feng coldly. Since it's my gift, why don't you say thank you to me? Yi Feng asked with a smile. Uchiha Fugaku's face darkened, and he turned to leave the training ground. He didn't want to stay in front of Uchiha Yi Feng anymore, he was afraid that he would not be able to restrain himself and could not restrain himself from attacking Uchiha Yi Feng. At present, he is not Uchiha Yi Feng's opponent, and if he fights with Uchiha Yi Feng, he will suffer a loss. The most important thing is to win the position of Minister Anbu first. Only by becoming Minister of Anbu can he continue to fight with Uchiha Yi Feng, otherwise he is not even qualified to fight with Uchiha Yi Feng. There was no turbulence afterward, Uchiha Fugaku successfully became the new Minister of Anbu. Seeing that Yi Feng didn't do anything, whether it was Sarutobi Hirazan or Uchiha Fugaku, they all breathed a sigh of relief, they were really worried that Yi Feng would do something again. Minister Anbu has been elected, and this meeting is naturally over. When leaving, Yi Feng stared at Mitokato Homura with a meaningful smile. In the conference room before, Mitokato Homura stood up and scolded him. Although Yi Feng ignored it at the time, he would settle accounts in the autumn. Boom! Yi Feng bumped into Mitokato Homura, knocking Mitokato Homura directly to the ground. Are you blind? Don't you have eyes? There were still people around who had not left, and when they saw this scene, they stopped on the spot. Good guy, today I have seen what it means to be a wicked person to file a complaint first. It was Uchiha Yi Feng who deliberately bumped into Mitokato Homura, but he said that Mitokato Homura was blind. Hurry up and apologize to me, otherwise don't blame me for being rude. Mitokato Homura's face was flushed with anger, and his body was shaking. The old man was the one who was knocked down. You didn't apologize to the old man, but you even asked the old man to apologize to you. Uchiha Yi Feng, you are presumptuous. I am the advisor of Konoha village. If you commit the following crimes, this old man can revoke your position as the captain of the Konoha guard. Just now Uchiha Yi Feng definitely did it on purpose. He would never let this fool go. If he was soft at this time, where would he put his face? No apology, right. Let you not apologize. Yi Feng kicked it directly. You old man don't know how to live or die, do you dare to offend anyone? Saying that, Yi Feng kicked again, kicking Mitokato Homura and vomiting blood. Uchiha Yi Feng, you are enough. Sarutobi Hirazan, who had not left, couldn't stand it any longer, and you detained Kaharu, she had already moved towards Yi Feng angrily. Looking at you detained Kaharu who was fighting with him, Yi Feng sneered, not knowing whether to live or die. Do you think I'll give you face? I don't know if you are alive or dead, and you dare to take action against me, and don't even look at what you are. The wind-style ninjutsu released by Yudetain Kaharu was cut open by Yi Feng, and then slashed at Yudetain Kaharu mercilessly. Yudetain Kaharu was slashed by a knife, blood spilled in the air, and his body fell to the ground without knowing his life or death. Dare to attack this captain, I suspect that you are a spy who infiltrated Konoha village from other villages. While seriously injuring Yudetain Kaharu, Yi Feng did not forget to put a big hat on her. Looking down at Mitokato Homura who was vomiting blood, Yi Feng waved Ryujin Jaka, the blade slid through Mitokato Homura's eyes, and Mitokato Homura let out a scream. Ah, my eyes. Since the eyes are blind, it is useless to keep a pair of eyes. Yi Feng said ruthlessly. Everything happened too fast, and after Yi Feng destroyed Mitokato Homura's eyes, the ninjas around him reacted. Even Sarutobi Hirazan did not expect that Uchiha Yi Feng would dare to attack the two elder advisors. Uchiha Yi Feng, do you think that in Konoha village, you can do whatever you want, do you want to be a traitor by hurting the two advisors and elders? 
Saru Tobi Hirazan asked Uchiha Yi Feng angrily. Mitokato Homura and Yudetane Kaharu are his former teammates and his current brains. The relationship between them is also deep, can he watch Uchiha Yi Feng hurt them and remain indifferent? Hey! It's really bold. Orochimaru looked at the scene in front of him with interest. He had underestimated Uchiha Yi Feng before, and he was more courageous than he expected. One after another ninja took out their weapons and looked at Yi Feng badly, the atmosphere was tense. Uchiha Yi Feng attacked two high-level advisors, which is a serious crime. You must know that these two are responsible for major decision-making in Konoha village. The government agencies of Konoha village are basically managed by them, and they can be said to be the right-hand man of Hokage. Such behavior can indeed be regarded as treason. Don't make a mistake, okay, I'm just self-defense, you detained Kaharu attacked me, and I shot back. Isn't it normal? Yi Feng calmly shook off the bloodline on Ryujin Jaka, and then sheathed the knife. The Anbu ninjas were rushing around, but Yi Feng still didn't panic at all. This calm attitude made people puzzled. But everyone wanted to see Yi Feng unlucky. Yi Feng's actions had already offended them. Arrest Uchiha Yi Feng. If he arrests him, it will be Konoha village rebellion. Seru Tobi Hirazan said firmly. Do it. Uchiha Fugaku couldn't wait. He didn't expect Uchiha Yi Feng to die like this. He just became Anbu's minister, and the chance for revenge came. Tisk tisk, do you think Konoha can stand my toss? Yi Feng turned on the Mangekio Sharingan and looked directly at Seru Tobi Hirazan. Sukuyomi. The moment they looked at each other, Uchiha Yi Feng used Sukuyomi to directly pull Seru Tobi Hirazan into the illusion space. Where is this place? Seru Tobi Hirazan found himself tied up, struggled a bit, and found that his strength seemed to have disappeared, and he couldn't struggle at all. This is the illusion space I created with Sukuyomi, where everything is at my disposal. Yi Feng showed a devilish smile. Seru Tobi Hirazan, please act as a target for me to practice swordsmanship for a while, and let me study how to kill people most efficiently with swordsmanship. After that, Yi Feng cut off Seru Tobi Hirazan's head with one knife, but in the blink of an eye, Seru Tobi Hirazan came back to life again. Death in the illusion space is fake, but the pain you endure cannot be faked. Beheading the head with a knife is all kind, and then there is more pain. In the illusion space, Seru Tobi Hirazan did not know how many times he was tortured to death, but in reality, only one second had passed. Seru Tobi Hirazan, who finally escaped from the illusion space, knelt on the ground with a puff, his face was as pale as paper, and a flash of fear flashed in his eyes. He has experienced the first Ninja World War and the second Ninja World War, and he is used to seeing life and death. He thinks that he is not afraid of death, but now he is tortured out of fear. The mental will is indeed strong. Yi Feng felt a little sour in his eyes. Sukuyomi's illusion can also kill people. As long as the opponent's spirit is completely broken, the opponent will really die. However, Seru Tobi Hirazan's mental will is unusual, so he resisted. What's the matter with you, old man? Jiraiya asked while holding Seru Tobi Hirazan. Seeing Seru Tobi Hirazan's weak appearance, Jiraiya thinks it should be related to Uchiha Yi Feng, is it an illusion? What illusion prevented his teacher Seru Tobi Hirazan from dispelling it? Don't, don't look him in the eyes. Seru Tobi Hirazan reached out to Jiraiya and said that he now has a feeling of weakness, not physically, but mentally. Sukuyomi is a pupil technique that attacks the mind, and it is difficult to recover from mental trauma. However, Seru Tobi Hirazan's performance is at least better than Hitaki Kakashi. Hitaki Kakashi was directly killed by Sukuyomi, and Seru Tobi Hirazan in front of him should have the ability to fight. This is normal. Hitaki Kakashi was only an elite janin at that time. How could he be compared to Seru Tobi Hirazan, the cage level peak? Uchiha. Yi Feng, you turned on Mangekio Sharingan. Seru Tobi Hirazan avoided Yi Feng's eyes subconsciously and asked weakly. The blood red Mangekio Sharingan, he saw clearly the moment he looked at each other, and the price was a serious mental injury. Want to see the true power of Mangekio Sharingan? Yi Feng asked Seru Tobi Hirazan. Yi Feng asked Seru Tobi Hirazan. You fool, attack Hokage. Jiraiya gritted her teeth. And Anbu Ninja, ready to take action against Uchiha Yi Feng, and even planning to release ninjutsu in the seal. 
Don't do it. Sarutobi Hirazan shouted hard before the Anbu ninja was about to do it. If you take action, the trouble will be big. Sarutobi Hirazan does not believe that Uchiha Yi Feng will be merciful. Sarutobi Hirazan knew too much about the terrifying power of Mangekio Sharingan. He experienced it personally just now, and directly pulled him into the illusion space. No matter how hard he tried, he couldn't remove the illusion. Even in the illusion space, Chakra, who can't perceive the body, the ordinary method of deciphering illusion can't remove the terrifying illusion at all. Even he was almost killed in an instant. Even if he was not killed in an instant, his combat power would have lost 70%. It is unknown whether they can beat Uchiha Yi Feng when they join forces in the field. Besides, Uchiha Yi Feng is not alone, he also has the Uchiha family. The consequences of the real war were unimaginable. After experiencing the lesson, Sarutobi Hirazan calmed down from his anger, and reason prevailed. How did he turn on the Mangekio Sharingan? Uchiha Fugaku stared at Yi Feng jealously. At this time, he wanted to directly order the Anbu ninja to attack Uchiha Yi Feng, but Uchiha Fugaku also knew that it was useless. Although he became the minister of Anbu, in fact he was a puppet minister with only name but no power. Otherwise, he would not be the minister of Anbu. You didn't disappoint me, Sarutobi Hirazan. As for Sarutobi Hirazan's choice, Yi Feng had long anticipated that he would never be able to really fight with himself. Especially after he revealed the Mangekio Sharingan, the Mangekio Sharingan was more deterrent than expected. The patriarchs of the Konoha clans were also shocked. Uchiha Yi Feng opened the Mangekio Sharingan. Fortunately, he didn't fight to the end when he attacked Uchiha Yi Feng before. Otherwise, who of them can face the legendary Mangekio Sharingan? In their eyes, Mangekio Sharingan is a level of power with first Hokage's wood style. They do not understand the difference between Mangekio Sharingan and eternal Mangekio Sharingan. You're lucky this time, remember to keep your eyes peeled next time. Yi Feng glanced at the wailing Mitokado Homura, then turned to leave here. Old man, you just let him go like this, and that's it. Jiraiya asked Sarutobi Hirazan angrily. Uchiha Yi Feng's actions just now were so arrogant that even he couldn't stand it, not to mention that Uchiha Yi Feng injured Sarutobi Hirazan with the Sharingan illusion. Usually an old man, I don't have special respect for Sarutobi Hirazan, but Jiraiya is very grateful to Sarutobi Hirazan. If he hadn't become a disciple of Sarutobi Hirazan, he probably wouldn't have achieved much. The power of the Uchiha family, the Mangekio Sharingan, can make teacher Sarutobi give in. Orochimaru looked at the direction Yi Feng was leaving in a trance. In the past, Orochimaru didn't pay special attention to the so-called blood continuum, including the Sharingan of the Uchiha family and the white eyes of the Hyuga family. He Orochimaru is also a genius, and he still has pride in his heart. But it's different now, the power that can make his teachers choose to make concessions, and even just one glance just made his teacher Sarutobi Hirazan almost incapacitated. This kind of power, even Orochimaru has some desire in his heart. This time Yi Feng exposed Mangekio Sharingan, but this is not a big deal, he will use Mangekio Sharingan sooner or later anyway. Besides, Yi Feng didn't reveal it completely, his Mangekio Sharingan stopped, and Suzano's power didn't reveal. Besides Mangekio Sharingan, Yi Feng and Ryujin Jaka, if there is no time to suspend this pupil technique, Ryujin Jaka's Shikai is definitely more terrifying than Mangekio Sharingan. If it wasn't for Yi Feng's inability to maintain Ryujin Jaka's Shikai for a long time, it would have been easy for him to surpass cage level. Even the true powerhouses of the Six Paths level would be afraid of the flames of the sun's surface temperature. After all, Ryujin Jaka's Shikai is scarier than some Zanpakuto's Bankai. The Mangekio Sharingan was revealed this time, not only Sarutobi Hirazan, but also other ninjas in Konoha village, especially those from the Konoha clan. Rich and noble do not pretend to be coercive, such as Jinyi's Night Walk, although a trump card is exposed, but I feel very comfortable. He will only get more and more trump cards. This time, he has gained a lot of evil value. He severely injured Sarutobi Hirazan with Sukuyomi in public, and deliberately injured two advisors. Although he didn't get the reward of ninjutsu, Yi Feng has obtained a lot of evil value, and he has obtained a total of nearly 100,000 evil value. 
Adding up, Yi Feng has accumulated more than 400,000 evil doing points, and it is not too far from the 1 million evil doing points needed to exchange for eternal Mangekio Sharingan. Serutobi Hirazan's home, Serutobi Hirazan is recuperating at this time, and the medical ninja has just finished healing Serutobi Hirazan. How about it? Jiraiya asked the medical ninja. Here, Lord Hokage is mentally traumatized. There are only two ways to recover. One is to recuperate slowly, but it will take a long time. It may take a few months or a year. What about another way? Hearing the first way, Serutobi Hirazan immediately asked the second way. The first method doesn't work, he doesn't want to have a splitting headache for a few months, or even a year. If he really cultivated for a year, his Hokage would be inappropriate. Let alone a year of cultivation, even if he cultivated for a few weeks, Danzo probably couldn't wait to get things done and let him retire from the Hokage position. The other way is to find Tsunade-sama. Maybe Tsunade-sama has a solution. Reverence flashes across the medical ninja's eyes when Tsunade is mentioned. In terms of medical ninjutsu, although he is the best medical ninja in Konoha today, his ability is less than one-tenth of Tsunade's. Tsunade. A complexion flashed in Serutobi Hirazan's eyes. Not long after the end of the Second Ninja World War, she suffered from depression and hyperphobia following the death of her younger brother and lover Kato Dan. For a ninja, and a medical ninja, suffering from hyperphobia is deadly. Tsunade then left Konoha village, taking Kato Dan's niece, Kato Shizun, one or two years old, and never came back. But is Tsunade leaving Konoha village for these reasons? Serutobi Hirazan didn't know either. I'll go find Tsunade. Jiraiya spoke up. Serutobi Hirazan didn't say no to Jiraiya's volunteering to find Tsunade back, after all he really needed Tsunade to heal his injuries. And Jiraiya, in addition to wanting to get Tsunade back for Serutobi Hirazan's treatment, has some selfishness of his own, he has been secretly in love with Tsunade. After Jiraiya left, Orochimaru came to visit Serutobi Hirazan, and Orochimaru learned some information about Mangekio Sharingan from Serutobi Hirazan. Oh Orochimaru, I hope you don't go down the wrong path. Serutobi Hirazan once thought that among his three disciples, Jiraiya should be the least reliable, but now it seems that Jiraiya is more reliable. When Orochimaru was trained, he was also trained as a successor, but as he grew up, Orochimaru's character became more and more gloomy. Not only is he cruel and ruthless towards his enemies, but he also has no feelings for the ninjas in the same village. So in Serutobi Hirazan's mind, Orochimaru has been kicked out from the list of successors. Lord Hokage. Uchiha Fugaku walked in. What's up? In front of Uchiha Fugaku, Serutobi Hirazan did not show signs of weakness. I want to report the side effects of Mangekio Sharingan to you. As the son of a former patriarch, Uchiha Fugaku certainly knew about the side effects of Mangekio Sharingan, and overuse can lead to blindness. Side effect. Let's talk about it. Serutobi Hirazan's eyes flickered, and he said calmly. Although Mangekio Sharingan is powerful, if Mangekio Sharingan is used excessively, the consumed pupil power will not be replenished, and eventually blindness will result. Uchiha Fugaku is very qualified as a dog-legged man, and he directly said everything he knew. He also didn't want to be a jerk, servile to Serutobi Hirazan. If you just want revenge, you can only rely on Serutobi Hirazan. Otherwise he can't fight Uchiha Yi Feng, especially Uchiha Yi Feng has opened the Mangekio Sharingan. He has to go back to the Uchiha clan, he is the head of the Uchiha clan, and he wants to get back what he lost. The main thing is that he wants to get revenge on Uchiha Yi Feng. Uchiha Yi Feng made him a bereaved dog, the murderer who indirectly killed his father, and also stole his original fiancé and gave him a green hat. Overuse can lead to blindness, I know. Serutobi Hirazan nodded, acting calm. As for the side effects of Mangekio Sharingan, Serutobi Hirazan has long known about it, don't forget that he is a disciple of Senju Tobarama. The person who knows you best will always be your enemy. Uchiha and the Senju clan are enemies, and the Senju clan of course understand the power that Uchiha is proud of, and know that the Mangekio Sharingan can go blind if used too much. Even the eternal Mangekio Sharingan, Serutobi Hirazan knows more than Uchiha Fugaku. 
Uchiha Fugaku wants to know this information, at least after opening the Mangekio Sharingan and seeing the content on the Uchiha family stone tablet. The stone tablet of the Uchiha family can only see the information behind it if Mangekio Sharingan is turned on. The steel was left by Sage of Six Paths, but the content on it was tampered with by Black Zetsu, and Uchiha Madara was the victim of the pit. You go to Anbu first. Sarutobi Hirazan sent Uchiha Fugaku away. When he left, Uchiha Fugaku couldn't help frowning. How could he feel that Sarutobi Hirazan didn't care about this matter at all? Did he suspect that he was lying to him? Uchiha Fugaku didn't know, he knew all the Sarutobi Hirazan he said, and after seeing Sarutobi Hirazan's reaction so flat, he felt that Sarutobi Hirazan didn't believe in himself. Humph. Uchiha Fugaku groaned angrily. After that Uchiha Yi Feng dies, I will become the head of the Uchiha family and try to get rid of Sarutobi Hirazan. He didn't want to be controlled by others for a lifetime, the reason why he had to rely on Sarutobi Hirazan was to deal with Uchiha Yi Feng. When Uchiha Yi Feng is dealt with and he takes back the position of the patriarch, it will be time for him and Sarutobi Hirazan to turn against each other. Now I want to be the second and fifth boy, I don't know what will happen to Sarutobi Hirazan when he finds out what Uchiha Fugaku thinks. But Uchiha Fugaku took it for granted. Did he think Sarutobi Hirazan was so easy to escape? Sarutobi Hirazan dared to use him, so he was absolutely not afraid of his betrayal. Sarutobi Hirazan just used Uchiha Fugaku as a tool, and he was on guard against this tool. The Uchiha family cannot be trusted, and this creed has always been engraved in Sarutobi Hirazan's heart. Lord Patriarch, that Uchiha Fugaku has become Anbu's minister, won't he pose any threat to us? Uchiha Sasuke and the others have already learned about Uchiha Fugaku becoming minister of Anbu. Yi Feng had already analyzed it with them before, and Sarutobi Hirazan would definitely support his cronies to become Anbu's ministers. Now that Uchiha Fugaku is Anbu's minister, it's clear that this guy has become Sarutobi Hirazan's puppet. He is a lost dog, can he threaten us? Yi Feng asked back. He wasn't even afraid of Sarutobi Hirazan, would he care about Sarutobi Hirazan's captive dogs? By the way, today the major families united and attacked me. Hayuga Hiyashi was the one who came out first. Next, take good care of the Hayuga family for me. Yi Feng didn't forget his threat to Hayuga Hiyashi, his threat was not just a threat. Killing chickens and scaring monkeys started with the Hayuga family. In addition, I gave you a mission, and you sent a message in the ninja world, saying that Sarutobi Hirazan was seriously injured and his strength could not be used for the time being. Yi Feng explained this task. Konoha village just lost Konoha's white fang, Hitaki Sakumo, and now Sarutobi Hirazan, Hokage, is injured again. Will other villages take action when they get the news? Third Hokage is seriously injured. That's right, I hit his spirits with Mangekio Sharingan. It would be a lie to say that Sarutobi Hirazan's strength cannot be used at all, but in a short period of time, Sarutobi Hirazan can display five achievements in combat power. As expected of the Patriarch. After they learned that Yi Feng had seriously injured third Hokage, they didn't panic at all but felt that the Patriarch was invincible, and even Third Hokage was no match for their Patriarch. The future position of Hokage must belong to their Patriarch. Uchiha Kai, keep an eye on Jiraiya these days. If he wants to leave the village, notify me immediately and find a way to keep him in Konoha village. He caused a mental trauma to Sarutobi Hirazan, which the medical ninjas of Konoha village should not be able to solve, so Tsunade will definitely be invited. If Tsunade is asked to come back, it must be Jiraiya, Yi Feng can't allow third Hokage's injury to recover so quickly. If Sarutobi Hirazan recovers, it won't help him start the ninja war. Want to get out of the village? Can you go out and ask him first? And it seemed that Jiraiya was dissatisfied with him before, so he just rectified him. Although the character Jiraiya is quite attractive in the original work, does it have anything to do with Yi Feng? After giving the order, Yi Feng went back directly. He wouldn't do it himself, just leave the rest to the people under his command. Yi Feng, I heard that Uchiha Fugaku has become Anbu's minister. Some people in the clan are a little flustered. After returning, Makoto said to Yi Feng. Now Makoto is no longer just a housewife at home, 
Yi Feng is handed over to Makoto to manage the affairs of the clan, and she is completely the boss. The mind is floating, hee hee, do they still want to go to Uchiha Fugaku? It's really possible to have this idea. Makoto nodded earnestly. You know, the Uchiha family has always been the captain of the Konoha guard, but it is difficult to get into the top circle of Konoha. Uchiha Fugaku became Anbu's minister. On the surface, his status can be said to be second only to Hokage, which naturally makes some people in the clan have other ideas. If you really want to seek refuge, let them go, don't bother. Yi Feng and Makoto said. I don't need the half-hearted two or five boys. I just took this opportunity to clean up some of the two or five boys in the clan. Yi Feng didn't want two or five boys to appear in the future. This time it was an opportunity. If they were willing to leave and follow Uchiha Fugaku, then let them get out of the way. Just don't regret it later. Master Patriarch, Master Uchiha Kai asked me to report that Jiraiya is leaving Konoha village, and is now temporarily stopped by Master Uchiha Kai. A beautiful Uchiha girl ninja came to report with Yi Feng. Oh, it's pretty quick. Yi Feng knew that Jiraiya would definitely go out of the village to find Tsunade, but did not expect to act so quickly. Take me there. Can I go with you? Makoto asked Yi Feng. Naturally. Yi Feng nodded and took Makoto along. Get out of the way, why stop me? Jiraiya, who was stopped, was angry, especially because the people who stopped him were from the Uchiha family. Lord Jiraiya, I advise you not to embarrass me. Uchiha Kai blocked Jiraiya's way without giving an inch, and there were other ninjas from the Uchiha family surrounding here. Since you don't let me, don't blame me for doing it, it's a lesson for you. There was a cold light in Jiraiya's eyes, do you really think that Jiraiya has a good temper and can talk? Usually laughing and joking, but at this moment Jiraiya is more serious than ever. Jiraiya-sama, one of Konoha Sanin's, is really powerful. Yi Feng's voice made Jiraiya dismiss the idea of doing it, and looked at Uchiha Yi Feng solemnly. To make the old man suffer a big loss and choose to compromise, obviously the threat of Uchiha Yi Feng has exceeded expectations. Uchiha Yi Feng, are you the one who stopped me? What do you mean? Jiraiya asked Yi Feng angrily. It was the first time Jiraiya was so suffocated in Konoha village. That's right, I asked people to stop you. What do you mean? Our Konoha guards are dispatched, of course, to arrest people. Let's do it and arrest Jiraiya for me. Yi Feng said coldly. Wait, why do you arrest me? Jiraiya's heart is full of anger, you can find any reason to arrest other family members, and now even Toad Sage Jiraiya dares to arrest him. He wanted to see what reason Uchiha Yi Feng was looking for to arrest him. The reason. Someone reported you peeking at the women's bathhouse, so come with us. Hearing Yi Feng's reason, Jiraiya's expression stiffened, because he had indeed done this. Do you have any evidence? Jiraiya is ready to quibble. If you want evidence, when you return to the Konoha guard, I will prepare the evidence for you and take it away. Yi Feng waved his hand, and the ninjas of the guard team started immediately after seeing the order. When Jiraiya saw the Konoha guard's move, he naturally wouldn't be caught. Dodge an attack from a member of the guard, and then knock back another, straight out of the encirclement. Uchiha Yi Feng, I don't have time to entangle with you. Now I have an important task. When I come back, I will go to the Konoha guard with you. I think you want to abscond in fear of crime. I advise you not to resist, otherwise, don't blame me for being merciless. The aura on Yi Feng's body gradually became fierce, and the faint threat made Jiraiya a little afraid. What's more, there is also a Uchiha Makoto beside Uchiha Yi Feng. The old man told him that Uchiha Makoto also opened Mangekio Sharingan. Okay, I'll go with you. Jiraiya put away the idea of hands-on with Uchiha Yi Feng. Even the old man was planted in the hands of Uchiha Yi Feng, and he had no confidence in facing Uchiha Yi Feng. Let's say it first, if you can't show evidence, you can let me go. Let's go. Yi Feng said flatly to Jiraiya. Don't catch me, I'll go by myself. Seeing that the people from the Konoha guard wanted to make a move, Jiraiya said immediately. This was on the street, and he didn't want to be pinned down. The Konoha guards ignored Jiraiya's words and looked at Yi Feng. Give face to Jiraiya, one of our Konoha Sanins, and let him follow. Yi Feng didn't give any orders, he must be arrested. Anyway, 
following him into the Konoha guards' prison, Jiraiya will not be so easy to figure out. Wanting to find Tsunade to treat Sarutobi Hirazan, at least now Yi Feng can't let Jiraiya succeed. Sarutobi Hirazan is very good at teaching his disciples. There is no shortage of pornography, gambling and drugs. What do you mean? Hearing that Uchiha Yi Feng was hurting himself, Jiraiya asked in dissatisfaction. Isn't that Mr. Jiraiya? How did he get caught? Who doesn't arrest the gang of Konoha guards? Are there still a few people they arrest? It's still called the Konoha Guard. It's time to call it the Uchiha Guard. The entire guard is the one word of the Uchiha family. Shish. Be quiet. You dare to say that, and you won't be afraid of being overheard by the Uchiha Guards, and they will arrest you. The road Jonan and the villagers began to discuss in a low voice, and the gesture of pointing made Jiraiya very embarrassed, and wished to reach the guards quickly. After coming to the guards, Yi Feng used the sealing technique to block Chakra and Jiraiya. What do you mean? Jiraiya's face was dark, chakra was blocked, and his combat power lost at least 80%. To prevent you from escaping, after all, you are the famous Kona Hasanin, such a dangerous criminal, how can you not take it seriously? It's time to bring out the evidence you said, otherwise, I will never plead guilty. Jiraiya said to Yi Feng. Bring him the evidence. Yi Feng gave an order to Uchiha Chi, and then threw the photo directly on Jiraiya's face, and the photograph on it was the evidence. The technology tree in the Hokage world is very strange. There are cameras, not only cameras, but also TVs and computers. Do you still want to refute? Cough, it's not a big crime for me. Can you let me leave first, I really have important tasks to do. Jiraiya blushed. The evidence is in front of him, even if he wants to cheat, when was he photographed? Why didn't he find out that someone was secretly filming? How about taking the punishment after I finish the task? Jiraiya and Yi Feng discussed. Yi Feng smiled coldly. Then why don't you tell me, I'll catch you and come back to ask you to blame when you're dead. First take him to the parade. After the parade is over, he will be detained in the prison of the guards. No one can see him without my permission. Yi Feng said to Uchiha Chi. Jiraiya's face changed in shock. Uchiha Yi Feng, don't go too far. Even dragging him to parade the streets, do you still want his reputation? Makoto, bring me a wooden sign. Yi Feng ignored the angry Jiraiya and asked Makoto to come over with a wooden sign. Soon, Makoto found a wooden plaque and handed it to Yi Feng, and then Yi Feng took a pen and wrote a few large characters on it. Jiraiya. Charge. Peeping at Konoha Women's Bathhouse. After writing, Yi Feng hung the sign around Jiraiya's neck. That's it, push him to parade the streets. Yi Feng said with a sneer on his face. Uchiha Yi Feng, wait for me, my son. After I get out of here, I will settle the account with you. An angry Jiraiya shouted at Yi Feng. If he is dragged out to parade in the streets, his reputation will be ruined in the future. When others mention him Jiraiya, the word prostitute comes to mind. You dare to shout in front of me, I don't think you have been beaten. Yi Feng looked at Jiraiya with a smile, then waved his hand, Uchiha Chi understood what Yi Feng wanted him to do, and immediately started to do it to Jiraiya. What Kona Hasanin, with Yi Feng as his backer, Uchiha Kai is not afraid. Pressing Jiraiya directly, he beat Jiraiya severely, which made Jiraiya's nose bruised and swollen. This really dares to let people beat me. But he thought, Uchiha Yi Feng dared to attack Hokage, how could he dare not attack him? With chakra sealed and bound by chains made of stainless steel, Jiraiya couldn't break free and watched Uchiha beat himself. After learning enough, Uchiha Kai greeted a few people and took Jiraiya to the parade. Jiraiya was dragged through the street, which was very eye-catching. Many people on the street looked over. After seeing Jiraiya's crime, some women in Konoha village were angry. Thief, beat you to death. Sisters, I didn't expect Sanin Jiraiya to be such a person, bah, hit him. I've heard that Jiraiya is lustful for a long time. I didn't expect him to dare to do such a thing. The sisters will teach him together. The fighting power of these women is very strong, especially now that Jiraiya is still tied up and unable to move, and the face scratched by these women is spent. And it's not just women who shoot, some men can't help it. This peeks at the women's bathhouse, what if their wives are peeked by Jiraiya? I felt angry just thinking about it, and joined the camp on the spot. 
Rotten vegetable leaves and rotten eggs were thrown on Jiraiya's body one by one. It's a pity, I didn't get the evil value, that's right, this guy Jiraiya is not clean, I didn't frame it this time. Yi Feng looked at the miserable Jiraiya with interest. Jiraiya's crime is real, Yi Feng doesn't need to make small moves to frame him. Ah, who threw the kanai? Jiraiya screamed suddenly, and a kanai was suddenly inserted not far from his deadly vital part. Rotten vegetable leaves and rotten eggs are not harmful, but they are extremely insulting, but suffering is no different. It can really kill people. With his current state of being bound, if someone really wanted to kill him, Jiraiya would definitely die. I hate such prostitutes the most. Fortunately, I have never been to the Konoha bathhouse. Uchiha Makoto threw another kanai, yes, that kanai was thrown by Makoto. Being stabbed by kanai again, Jiraiya let out another scream. Sarutobi Hirazan soon got the news that Jiraiya was dragged to parade the streets, and it was Anbu Ninja who came to tell Sarutobi Hirazan. Hokage-sama, shall we rescue Jiraiya-sama? Frowning, then Sarutobi Hirazan shook his head, telling him intuitively that if he really came forward to save Jiraiya, Uchiha Yi Feng would definitely make a fuss about it. He was almost knocked down by Uchiha Yi Feng's pupil technique. In the eyes of many families in Konoha elite Jonan, his prestige has plummeted. If he finds another chance to attack, he may be forced to abdicate. Let Jiraiya remember a long time, you have Anbu someone else replace Jiraiya and go find Tsunade. Sarutobi Hirazan is not going to save Jiraiya. If he was Uchiha Yi Feng, if he came forward to save Jiraiya, he would definitely spread the news that Hokage was covering up his disciples in Konoha village, and attacked Hokage's prestige. The splitting headache was really uncomfortable, and Tsunade had to be brought back. Jiraiya was dragged through the streets, miserable. On the street, Kashina happened to meet Jiraiya and immediately covered her face. What a shame. Kashina covered her face, she was embarrassed now to let others know that she was Jiraiya's disciple. Fortunately, I haven't been to the bathhouse, otherwise I wouldn't be able to help myself. Suddenly, Kashina's eyes rolled, and she wanted to take the opportunity to punch Jiraiya a few times. She was a little upset with Jiraiya recently. Because Jiraiya is always looking for opportunities to persuade her not to have any relationship with Makoto in the future. Do what you want, find a piece of cloth to cover his face, and then Kashina approached and punched Jiraiya's nose bridge, and Jiraiya burst into tears and pain. Uzumaki Kashina. Jiraiya gritted her teeth fiercely. This bright red hair is too familiar, it is definitely his disciple Uzumaki Kashina, red hair is too rare, and there is only Uzumaki Kashina in the entire Konoha village red-haired girl. Discovered. Teacher Jiraiya, how did you find me? When his name was called, Uzumaki Kashina asked in surprise. Looking at Uzumaki Kashina, who has not yet discovered how to reveal it, Jiraiya would like to ask if you are stupid, can you not notice that your hair is so conspicuous? HMPH, I thought I wouldn't beat you if I found out my identity. Uzumaki Kashina took off the cloth covering his face at once, and then punched him again. Jiraiya, who had been beaten before, now received several more punches. Uzumaki Kashina, you wait for me. Jiraiya gritted her teeth. HMPH, are you trying to trouble me? You have no chance, I will apply for the Jonan assessment soon. With a light snort, Kashina said proudly. Anyway, she is going to become Jonan next, and after becoming Jonan, there is no need to let Jiraiya continue to lead the team. In other words, the wings are hard, and I am not afraid that Jiraiya will wear small shoes. Uzumaki Kashina. Yi Feng stared at Uzumaki Kashina. After seeing Uzumaki Kashina again, Yi Feng stared at her again, so he turned to look at Makoto. Aren't you going to chat with your best friend? After hesitating for a while, Makoto nodded, she understood Yi Feng's real intention to ask her to chat with Kashina. I was already prepared to be sorry to Kashina before. Although there was a psychological burden, Makoto obediently went to find Kashina. When Makoto went to look for Kashina, Uchiha Sasuke came to Yi Feng and reported to Yi Feng. Lord Patriarch, there are Anbu ninjas who want to leave the village and have been stopped according to your instructions. Well, keep an eye on it. As long as there are Anbu's ninjas who want to leave the village, they will find a reason to stop them. As long as they can stop them, they will try their best to stop them. Yi Feng nodded. For catching Jiraiya, 
Sarutobi Hirazan will send others to look for Tsunade, Yi Feng also thought. He actually understood that it was almost impossible to stop Sarutobi Hirazan from sending people to find Tsunade, and all Yi Feng did was just delaying time. Next, it's up to those villages to do their best. Anyway, Yi Feng did his best, it depends on whether Sunagakar, Cloud Shinobi Village, and Iwagakar will seize the opportunity. Yi Feng has already given them the opportunity. Kashina, your practice is over. Hey, Makoto, I didn't expect to meet you here. On the other hand, Makoto had already chatted with Kashina, and seeing Kashina's surprise appearance after seeing her, Uchiha Makoto's guilt flooded back into his heart again. But guilt is guilt, she did not give up and leave. We haven't seen you for a long time, let's find a place to chat. Makoto invited Kashina. Of course, Kashina would not refuse Makoto's invitation, nodded and followed Makoto directly. Jiraiya, who was beaten and bruised, saw Kashina leave with Makoto, her face changed instantly, and just when she was about to speak, a stone hit Jiraiya in the face. Jiraiya was smashed and screamed, and then lost the opportunity to stop Kashina. Following the direction of the stone, Jiraiya looked over and saw Yi Feng standing on the roof. Broken, Uchiha Makoto took Kashina, there must be a conspiracy. Jiraiya was in a hurry, but it was useless now that he was in a hurry, Kashina had already followed Uchiha Makoto, and even if he shouted loudly, he couldn't stop Kashina. Kashina ignored Jiraiya. In her opinion, Jiraiya should be taught a lesson for peeping at the women's bathhouse. Huh. Namikaze Minato. Just as Yi Feng was about to leave, his eyes suddenly glanced at Namikaze Minato's figure. Namikaze Minato, I have to say sorry to you. This apology is naturally insincere, he Uchiha Yi Feng is not a good person, how could he feel sorry? Makoto took Kashina away, this time is a good opportunity, Yi Feng can't allow Namikaze Minato to ruin the plan. Yi Feng still appreciates Namikaze Minato. A ninja from a commoner background can become the fourth Hokage and become one of the best powerhouses entirely by his talent. The flying thunder god technique developed by second Hokage was carried forward by Namikaze Minato, who also created Muji Rasengan. The so-called Muji Ninjutsu is the ninjutsu that can be released without forming a seal. No matter how fast it is, it takes time, so the advantage of Muji Ninjutsu is not a little bit, especially when combined with the Flying Thunder God technique, the threat is even greater. Appreciation will be appreciated, but Yi Feng won't be soft-hearted. Namikaze Minato rushed over in a hurry, knowing that Jiraiya was arrested, and was also arrested for parade. Namikaze Minato respected Jiraiya very much. If it weren't for the presence of the teacher Jiraiya, as a civilian ninja, he would not have been able to touch so many ninjutsu, and he would have the opportunity to obtain the Flying Thunder God technique developed by Second Hokage. Teacher, what's going on? How did you get caught, are you really? Namikaze Minato didn't go on, he knew that teacher Jiraiya was a bit horny, and even wrote some unsightly books. Did Mr. Jiraiya really go to peep at the Konoha women's bathhouse? Looking at the disciple Namikaze Minato, who was extremely upright in front of him and whom he admired very much in his heart, Jiraiya's old face flushed, and now he has lost all face in front of his disciple. Thinking of Kashina being taken away by Uchiha Makoto, Jiraiya doesn't care about the shame, Kashina's safety is the most important thing. Kashina was taken away by Uchiha Makoto, and Jiraiya had a bad premonition in his heart. Uchiha Yi Feng, a daring fellow, was not eyeing nine tails. If Nine Tails is controlled by Uchiha Yi Feng, with this guy's character, Konoha is in danger. Leave that aside, Kashina is probably in danger, go find Kashina. Jiraiya that counts as well, a change of subject. Kashina is in danger. What happened to Kashina? A worried look appeared on Minato's face. Kashina was taken away by Uchiha Makoto, you should come and have a look. Well, Kashina and Uchiha Makoto are good friends, so it should be fine to leave with her. Namikaze Minato breathed a sigh of relief, he thought Kashina had encountered some kind of enemy. I don't know why Mr. Jiraiya is worried that Kashina and Uchiha Makoto will get together. Before that, Mr. Jiraiya asked him to persuade Kashina to stay away from Uchiha Makoto. As a result, the angry Uzumaki Kashina didn't speak to him for several days, and is still angry with him now. Let's not say whether Uchiha Makoto is dangerous or not. 
Uchiha Makoto is Uchiha Yi Feng's wife. You know, the real dangerous person is Uchiha Yi Feng. If you think about what Uchiha Yi Feng has done recently, what will happen if he targets Kashina? Kashina is not dangerous. Jiraiya quickly reminded Namakaze Minato. This man is a confidant of Jiraiya, the Konoha thief. Standing not far away, the member of the Konoha guard who was in charge of watching Jiraiya pointed at Namakaze Minato and shouted. What? This little white face is also the accomplice of this thief. Little thief, die for you, you bloody little white face. Cough, if this little brother is also a prostitute, it is not unacceptable, no, how can such a handsome little brother be a prostitute? That's right, even if you make a mistake, you must have been spoiled by the thief Jiraiya. The male compatriots are angry, but the female compatriots are not so angry. Of course, the reason is that Namikaze Minato is handsome, and Namikaze Minato, who looks like a little son, is hard to be hated. Listening to such double standard words, Jiraiya shed tears of pain, and Lousy is also handsome. In fact, Jiraiya is not ugly, just a forehead protector with the word, oil, written on his forehead, and two oil paints painted on his face, and the clothes are a bit funny. This little white-faced teacher is called Jiraiya, and apparently he was with Jiraiya, the thief, and my brothers beat him to death. A middle-aged male villager raised his fists and shouted, especially when he saw his wife staring at Namikaze Minato with gleaming eyes, the anger in his heart increased a lot again. Everyone, I didn't, I was wronged. Step by step, Namikaze Minato quickly waved his hands in denial. Whether you are wrong, you must wait for the investigation to confirm. In order to prove your innocence, follow our Konoha guards. Yi Feng walked over with someone. Ah, Namikaze Minato's expression is tangled. If he resists leaving at this time, it means that he has a guilty conscience, and then he sits down and peeps at the women's bathroom. This has a great impact on his reputation. If it spreads to Kashina's ears, Kashina will definitely be very angry. What if he ignores him in the future? Don't go, this is. Before Jiraiya could finish speaking, someone blocked her mouth with something, and then she took Jiraiya to another street. Jiraiya, who was taken away, was extremely anxious. Uchiha Yi Feng came out and took Namikaze Minato away. Obviously, it was very problematic for Kashina to leave with Uchiha Makoto before. Mr. Jiraiya. Namikaze Minato saw that Jiraiya was being led away and wanted to pass, but the bright ninja sword made him retreat. He came here to save Mr. Jiraiya, but Mr. Jiraiya was taken away. Lord Yi Feng, you must punish this thief severely, and you must not let him go. That's right, support Lord Yi Feng to severely punish this little white face. All of Yi Feng's supporters were compatriots. They looked at Namikaze Minato with anger, as if they hated his wife. There is indeed a hatred for wives, and as soon as this little white face appears, it attracts the attention of their wives. Although Yi Feng's appearance also attracted the attention of their wives, but they knew that Uchiha Yi Feng could not be provoked by them. Who doesn't know now in Konoha village, Uchiha Yi Feng and the Konoha guard are the ones who can't be messed with, unless you are willing to stay at the Konoha guard for a few days. Namikaze Minato, come with me. Yi Feng said to Namikaze Minato. If you are innocent, I will prove your innocence. You can also try to leave now, but then you will be a wanted criminal by the Konoha guard. The bright threat made Namikaze Minato compromise. Although Mr. Jiraiya said that it might be dangerous for Kashina to follow Uchiha Makoto in the past, Namikaze Minato didn't quite believe it. The relationship between Kashina and Uchiha Makoto does not seem to be fake, Uchiha Makoto should not harm Kashina. Moreover, Namikaze Minato doesn't feel that Uchiha Yi Feng has any intention of Kashina. I'll follow you to the Konoha guard. He didn't do anything to peep at the women's bathhouse, and Namikaze Minato felt that he should be released soon. Go with him. Yi Feng gave an order, and Namikaze Minato was taken away by the Konoha guards. Namikaze Minato does not know that his current choice will be regrettable in the future. There is no regret medicine in this world. Taking Namikaze Minato to the Konoha guard station, Yi Feng first sealed Namikaze Minato's chakra. At this time Namikaze Minato realized that something was wrong. Point zero. Why seal my chakra? Namikaze Minato couldn't help asking. Losing chakra, his strength is like disappearing completely, so Namikaze Minato has a feeling of instability in his heart. 
Chakra is too important for a ninja, although Namakaze Minato's taijutsu is also good, but he does not rely on taijutsu to eat. When we come to our Konoha guard, we must seal chakra first. Uchiha Sasuke explained lightly. Then Uchiha Sasuke came to Yi Feng and asked in a low voice, would you like to give him a special treat? The one brought back by the patriarch should have offended the patriarch, Uchiha Sasuke asked if he should arrange a wave for him. No, he is temporarily locked in the prison of the guards, and the others don't need to be concerned, as long as he doesn't let him run away. Yi Feng said to Uchiha Sasuke. Don't worry, the patriarch, he still wants to run when he comes here. Don't underestimate him, don't look at his age, but he is not simple. Yi Feng reminded. Although the chakra of Namakaze Minato was sealed, the sealing technique they used was far from the sealing technique of the Uzumaki clan. I don't know if Namakaze Minato has learned the sealing technique of the Uzumaki family. If he does, he may have a way to release the sealing technique of chakra. After all, it is the future fourth Hokage. Although he is still a little immature now, he still needs to give him the attention he deserves. Yi Feng doesn't want to ruin things because he is not careful enough. In many plots, the protagonist can often rescue the heroine at the most critical moment. Yi Feng did not want such a thing to happen to himself. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support our channel.